What's up, everybody? You're watching episode 198 of Unboxing Thursdays. Uh, that means there's we're two away from episode 200, which is crazy to me. That's going to be happening on May 2nd. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you'll know when that episode comes on. It's also an enablers episode that month or that week. So uh, I'm excited to see everyone there for the show. So stick around. We got some really great toys to unbox tonight with some awesome friends. Also, I forgot to play this clip in the intro. For, for the last show, so we're going to mix this in there even though it's two weeks late. You, uh, what are you, 25? I'm 40. Holy shit, man, you got to get on that. Life is... Hello there, toy collectors. My name is Kevin, a.k.a. Toying Around, and I am very excited to bring you this special review. Uh, if anything, the Kim family, they're archetypes. Sad, but not always a bad thing. I'm okay. I have one. Let's Do you see all the names? Let's try them. Let's still try. Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, my name's Kevin. Um, and what we do every week here is we open the newest and the greatest collectibles that are out there that you can get in your hands. And uh, we do this every week. So, you know, come in uh, to the live stream, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, say hi to somebody in the chat, and uh, enjoy the content that's here. Uh, normally, my co-host would be here, but he is late. Uh, but we're definitely going to not let him get away with that when he shows up. But I am joined by two good friends, fellow enablers, who are here to unbox some stuff tonight. Um, they were here in Toronto two weeks ago to celebrate my birthday with me and um, and the toy con that I had. And we're just going to you know, open up some stuff, look at some of the cool things that we got, and of course, just kind of give our behind-the-scenes take on that toy show uh, and weekend. So please welcome back to the show uh, my friends, 796 Studio and Mr. Ryan Ting. Whoa. Yo. Hello. Reunion. Re reunion stream <laughs> reunion reunion this is a two week two week anniversary of our of our trip yeah. um, what's up guys uh i miss you guys it's um it's weird it's 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 a huge crash from from that week uh those 4 days to where where it is now mm -hmm. um but how how's everyone how's everyone adjusting back at home now no big uh, deal. It's, it's a little weird. Still, I think I'm slowly like coming back down from being in party mode. I try to extend party mode for an additional week, but that didn't go so well with work. You so. had a birthday. Did you did you celebrate? You're literally wearing the same outfit that you wore when you were here. So obviously you've been <laughs> trying to hang on to that feeling. I have not changed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so You're 100 percent right. And we have yeah. uh pictures. Yeah, like I smell it. terrible. Um, yeah, I celebrated my birthday uh, at the airport with Machu and the Eclipse, so that was great. Nice. I, I uh, had to stuff my face with the leftover cake before we went through uh, TSA, so that was also nice. Did you change your setup? I don't like how you're looking left. Usually you're at the camera, or you, you need to see us. This is very, very weird. Sorry. <laughs> what good. a weird thing to point out. Well, you know, I don't like your setup. <laughs> I don't think there's anything we don't say to each other. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> you're you're back home, and uh, man, what a what a great Marvel Legends um, panel! I think one of probably like a top top three live stream in terms of reveals, and probably the best in in recent memory. Congratulations, man! There's there's a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah, thanks. It was. Um... Not that many items. I think it was actually only six items, but they were there was a lot of good ones in there. So we're just glad. Quality. People. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, um, you know, you're back home. You guys were in town. There was the Toy Con. Um, you were traveling. So I don't know if you were able to pick up uh, much stuff and bring it home. Uh, I think Mario learned his lesson from last time. Um, yeah. Did, did you get anything here or do you have anything that you're opening tonight? Cause I, I'm going to go last cause I have a lot. I always scrounge up a few things. 
You, you so, I think everyone always has something laying laying around to open. Laying around. Right. So like the Ken, my Ken came here. I'm a little late to the party, but so nice. Uh, I think I'm up to date now on the Street Fighters. And then I just realized I had this, and it's kind of suitable, right? Coming off of our Marvel Legends. Two oh, pack. nice. So I got this for like a couple of bucks at uh, <laughs> some outlet kind of near us in Rhode Island. Does it every now and again. So this will be fun. Power Man and Iron Fist. Mini Mates are really fun. They uh, I love Mini Mates. Had a lot of accessories. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. in kind of cool ways. So I'll be doing that one. Have you seen yeah. Mini Mates started doing build a figures? Yeah, they started doing Did those they? a couple of years ago too. Yeah. yeah, they had a Maximum Carnage set, and I think it was a build a figure Shriek. Oh, that's right. It, oh, I, I saw that set. I wonder where they got that idea. That's crazy. <laughs> and then the last thing I got was <laughs> one of the few Japan souvenirs, but I got this at one of the Nintendo stores. It's a. Oh. Uh, triforce puzzle apparently but it's only four pieces but i have a feeling like it's going to be deceptively hard once you Shh. either put it together or take it apart like there's got to be a trick to it four piece so, puzzle come on we'll, we'll do that well, with my, we'll in my sleep. don't even we'll front, Kevin. you're already your your brain's already <laughs> well like, didn't something happen in person then you saw you guys saw it in action and you're like yeah this explains a lot when you were in town yeah. Was that on the Thursday night? Because Ryan, we uh, Mario and Matthew got in. For people who don't know, right? Uh, Matthew and Mario got in on the Thursday. Then we did the Thursday night stream, uh, and then we had Friday, and then you didn't get in until Saturday. So there were a couple days of hijinks where uh, I think you may not have experienced, probably uh, for your own sake and for mm -hmm. our friendship's sake. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I already feel like that. That bad friends pod was over the top for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest, one of the funniest things of that bad friends pod was at the end, we were just trapped in that hallway for what felt like yeah. half yeah. an hour. We just like couldn't go anywhere. We're at the very top floor, right? It was funny. The, we're at the top yeah, floor, at the very end where there was no uh, exit on our side. Like we, we were the last people to get out of, uh, out of the theater for mm -hmm. a show that was already probably thirty minutes longer than it needed to be so it was an extra hour of our, Just more of our time life. more time together yeah and then ryan was trapped in the car with us for two more hours so <laughs> i'm pretty sure i just slept the whole way home though so it was all good you, you and matt you slept up the whole way there from the back row no, I think, we were like... in and out we were in our defense we were <laughs> we were coming and going <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> weird because the trip down like, to Beautiful Niagara, Niagara Falls. Hey man, yeah. it's cozy on that back bench, and that in the minivan. It's a good van. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! Um, all right, before we get more into details, and uh, wait, did was that everything that you're opening, Ryan? Yeah, I think that's about it. Do you have more mini mates? Uh, not easily accessible. I did. My Nezco turtle set arrived. I told them not to ship it. Uh, when we went on our Japan trip, and they were good about that, and then they shipped it, so that's somewhere in the other room. But sorry, who's the they in that sentence? Mezco. They replied to you. They did. Yeah, that's I, that's unheard of. <laughs> unheard of. <laughs> in time <laughs> too. I wasn't expecting much based on based on some other experiences, but yeah, they were actually really good about it. And they were like, "No problem, we'll send it to you after um, that date, after your return date," and then they did. I didn't yeah, even have to follow them. up. I didn't even have to follow up to say, can you please send it now? They just sent it. So, Wow. wow. <laughs> Janie says, what kind of Asians are you? I heard you guys didn't even... <laughs> I'm assuming that's autocorrect. I'm, uh, you would never let that slide. I'm just, you guys didn't even gambling. That's one, two, three, four, four full Asians. Five. We didn't gamble. I think we got there a little late, and uh, I may have eaten up some of our time with... Uh, going the wrong way in one of the streets. But we did go to see the falls because nobody, mm -hmm. you hadn't seen it. You, you hadn't seen it since you were a kid, right? Or was that Matthew? Mm -hmm. Since I was that a was kid. You. Yeah. yeah. So it's been decades. And Hey, we gambled. You gambled with our lives. We gambled with Ryan's friendship. It's fine. It still counts. <laughs> How did I gamble with your lives? Well, you were taking us to some, some sketchy places. We can get All into right. it later. We will. We will. All right. Uh, if Ryan, if you want more mini mates, I have a, a bunch of Marvel ones and TMNT. 
and I don't have the power, like the energy to go sell each one and take photos, but I would gladly uh, add them to your collection if you wanted. There's some really, really great ones. All right. That's that's nice of you. We'll see. He, uh, I hope Janie wasn't there for that. She's not listening. Uh, one more person showing up now. DK, what's up, man? Yo, everyone can hear me. Mario, yes. Ryan, yeah. hey, what up? Hey. Sorry for the tardiness. You sound good. Um, what happened? You said you lost one screw on your headphones. Yeah, so I was um after work. I decided to uh, around six o'clock. I decided to play Call of Duty, so I started putting on my headphones. And then as I was putting it over my head, one of the screws popped off, and I just see all these washers fly on top of my desk. And then I'm like, Wait, so one screw. In. It was one screw, and then there was three washers. Oh no! They all went all over my desk. I'm like, I don't know what what's going on, and I feel some weight on my headphones and then all i see is exposed wire and i'm like oh crap right so everything fell apart um so i i, I took some time to gather all the pieces analyze the situation i'm like okay should, allen keys shouldn't be that bad right but then it's i needed hex screws for the screw that popped off the hex screws and it had the security nub like hole in the middle so i don't have that so i ran out to home depot to try and find it and I got it and I was working on it and it took me about 45 minutes to just try and fix everything. That so, was a, that's a so, load bearing screw. I can't it, believe it, it was, it was that. so it, it worked out and it was very awkward. Um, and there's a lot of pressure points and it's awkward to uh, like handle it. That's why it took me so, so long. I was sweating buckets and then I was messaging you, yo, I think I'm going to run late. Like I didn't even eat yet and stuff. Right. So what's yeah, um, about it? What's more high pressure, putting that back together or Googling while you're on stream? Oh, absolutely Googling, man. <laughs> Hands down. Fixing a screw, like fixing the headphones with a screw, no problem, right? Were you Googling but... how to fix the headphones? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't have to do I that. Can't, I can't I, handle that. I was Googling the hex screw and need it. I'm like, where can I get it? Obviously, Amazon, whatever, but I'm not going to get it in time, right? So I'm like, yeah. okay, whatever, Home Depot. Just bought this. This yeah, Home Depot. Yes, and and yeah. Oh, you bought the hex key tool. Yeah, best hex key tool. There you to go. Very so nice. Yeah, it. Did you Time fix it? it? Yeah, it's working now. So yeah, mm. it's good. just a mess of solder on the side. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just start seeing smoke. <laughs> yeah, turn around. Let's see the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like duct tape <laughs> and everything. <laughs> it's it's his iPhone earpods in there. He yeah, just it over. and those are just for show. Like he's wearing yeah. them underneath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like dangling wires. But yeah, so hey, Butter Nation, everyone, my apologies for being tardy. Hope Fine. everyone's doing well. That's fair. Um, for your tardiness, would you like to say what's up to the chat? I don't want to. I don't want to wait. Let it build up too much more by getting into Mario's stuff, my stuff, your stuff. You want to cool. do it, or you're not ready yet? I'll I'll, I'll do it. So I want to give it a shout out to literally Action Figs. What up, everyone? Uh, RMD Collective. Where are you uh, starting from? At the top of what I see. Okay. The action fix. So I think you need to do it because I I have everyone cut off right now. Well, just, that was that was first. Two I names. tried. All right. Thank you everyone for being here. <laughs> Say what's up in the chat. Leave a thumbs up if you can. If you're new here, uh, subscribe to the channel. Lots of great toy related videos, shorts, uh, sometimes reviews, things like that. We have uh, Winger Lose here, channel member. What's going on? Um, Taco Boy. What's up, Taco Boy? We need to see more DK artwork. We have Zio Adams, Damu Chichiaro, Tanio Toys is here. How are you doing? Channel member, Mr. Ryan Clark. Messy Photography. That's a new name for sure. Thank you for tuning in. Robo Toast. Good evening to you. Josh Brown, thank you for the assist on the um, starting lineup figures. Oh, wait. No, I, I'm not complete. I need I need Jason Tatum. I need one more. Uh, Toy Rensu is here. Another channel member. Thank you for tuning in. We have Tommy K., Mr. Ryan Clark, I said that already. Kuya Kicks, what's up, man? It was great hanging with you. Uh, ToyCon weekend. Uh, Stream Elements is here. Matt Logic, what's uh, what's going on? Good to hang out with Matt Logic also uh, on the weekend with everybody. Flash739 says, Filipino time? Am I three hours early then? Well, you know, I don't want to make any more comments about my 
fellow Asians. DK has already done a lot of damage. Um, Plasti Adicto is here. Mr. Ryan Dole, what's up, man? 250 likes, and Ryan Ting will get basketball gear. X Men Legends made. Let's do this, chat. He left because he knew that comment was coming. That's and he, he doesn't even have the headphones. That's perfect, guys. Not committed. Uh, RMD Collective is here. What's up? Uh, can't wait to hang out in San Diego. Uh, channel member of Bat Force Grumps. What's up, Grumps? I miss you and and everyone in the Monday night uh, voice chat on Discord. Uh, Got to get back in there soon. But we have, you know, we have Boba Squadron. Uh, Brick something is here. What's up, Brick? Um, Josh Brown. Oh, D Sertle is here. What's up, Daniel? And Man Mount 275. We have Kirby Kai, uh, who was also at the show hanging out with us. Uh, Zio Adams. David De La Huerta. Good to meet you finally. You brought, <laughs> I can't believe you brought a tortilla. Uh, that, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, someone said, Meg is Mega J in here? I know. So Mega J Retro was at the ToyCon, and he did a full, like, 40-plus minute um, tour. What is Ryan doing? Whoa. He's showing us, holy, the amount of... <laughs> Wait. What, what, he... what happened? I think he pressed oh. something. There you go. Did you say you actually you need Jason Tatum starting? I, I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I wonder. Do you do you know anyone who has? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. He's like no, no, I don't know. But I'm ready for I'm ready for a Sunday, round one, series. <laughs> Bulls, yeah. Bulls or uh, Heat. Yeah, Bulls I haven't been Heat. following, dude. Been playing one of them. Okay. So. Good luck to you. And then he's like, to commemorate that, I will be opening 17 Jason Tatums tonight. I'll just keep them here for a while. So, uh, so that was <laughs> unnecessary. And I feel like you're finally gelling with the group if that if it's that level of trolling. So, actually, no, you've always been pretty uh, trollish. Like, like a low-key trollish, but low this key. is more in your face. Speaking of which, Loki, Loki in the chat. Thank you for being here. Literally action figs. That's where DK was picking up the chat from. So, um... Kuya Kick says, I don't, I don't know what he's writing here. Uh, let's see. Ender Shadow. Hey, thank you for coming back. To, um, good to see you again. Darth Gutierrez, of course, always here supporting. Says, hashtag Butter Nation. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Darth Gutierrez. Uh, let's see. Kirby Kai. I don't, oh, is this about Iron Fist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, you, I think you guys were talking about it last night, right? Let me know. Yeah. Um, Rick Dom 2345, what's up, bro? Says, man, there were like two, three years where mini mates were really hot to photograph on the ACBA page. Dude, they're so good. Um, they come with accessories, they come with like, you know, other headpiece swaps or different things like that, weapons. And they were the same, like you can buy play sets for I forget what line it was. They were the same scale for mini mates. So, you know, it was it wasn't easy to find props for it, but um, what's that building block line? They did like um, Megablocks? It's it's a little bit bigger. I think they did Rick and Morty and and they had some other lines too. I think those were the exact same scale for mini mates. Hmm. Um Man Mountain 275, what's up, Winger Lose? And what's that? It's for Grumps. Over here. Uh we have oh the homie, Nose Rain. We're gonna see you. Uh Nose Rain challenged me. He said. He didn't even challenge me. He said, are we playing ball in San Diego? And immediately I'm like, I got to hit the gym. So last on Tuesday, I went back to go do a little shoot around action. And uh, I'm going to be ready, Richie. I, I hope you are too. Mario, I lost cause. Uh, Toy Geekosaurus. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Uh, <laughs> hold on. You went the wrong way down the street. I went the wrong direction, but driving... On this, on the correct side of the street, whereas DK went down the street driving the wrong direction because it was one direction. So, don't try to conflate that Daniel into the same thing. That that's crazy. Don't even try that. Also, I'm, shout I, out to One Direction. Yeah, if you're if you're watching One Direction, um, some some great some great classics there. Uh, Dom Muchichiara, what's up, Dom? Omega Weapon 13, Manic Mike, thank you for being back here. Peak Obi-Wan, Yoko is here. Don't apologize. You were born that way. I don't know uh, who that's to, DK. but I think that applies to all of us. Yeah. Um, did you say something? It's probably directed it, it, at me. 
the tardiness or like the complexion oh also the complexion <laughs> oh, hold on hold on we, wow there's so there's so much to break down this episode it's insane uh static thunder what's up josh brown uh t t toys of manila yeah that's hello. an awesome name hello there thank you nice dk i don't have that dk don't do any accents when we're talking about t toys of manila just i know how you are uh plastic bubble nyc figure fanatic yoko thank you for tuning in and are we there are, are we there are we almost there ryan is building an nba he's got his <laughs> own uh league team and his g league team he has no is jimmy butler out what's going on yeah he's out for friday he's pretty clutch uh the chamba of course the homie thank you for tuning in and i, th I think there's a lot of people in the chat i thought this was just a, is it just because we were off last week what's going on or or this mini mini half episode half enablers uh toy chase is here what's up thank you for sharing over on ig and everyone who did as well reginald l posier <laughs> thank you for being here um <laughs> Uncanny Sculpts has been a channel member for 19 months. My goodness. Thank you so much. That's massive. That's huge, as DK would say. Uh, so sending you guys some love. Have fun unboxing. Man Beast Boy, Bearded Builds, who was also hanging out last week, two weeks ago. And I think that's it. Plasty. All right. Jeez. Where, where do we even start? Where do we even start? Um, okay. You know what? Let's see. Mario, what are you opening? Uh, I don't have much. <clears throat> I got... Um... I picked this up on Amazon for a good deal, 25 bucks, I think. But I really want it for the the spinny hammer thingy. Yeah. For my for my Yamaguchi, which this figure is meh. But this is this is supposed to be the spinny hammer that it came with, but anyway, what did Yoko say? Uh and then I got uh the only other thing I have for tonight is Bring Arts Aerith from Final Fantasy 7 and nice dude, I, I already know this figure is really going to piss me off cuz it's expensive and bring arts just generally sucks it's going to be a statue but uh, I'm excited to open it DK do you are you into that stuff I feel I, like you I are I want to collect it I just can't afford it <laughs> I have well, some of the Mario will talk you out of it yeah I I have Ifrit and I have uh Odin those are the only ones I have out of the bringing. Yeah, box. DK, that you don't, you probably don't need to buy these. Like, if you can find, like, I don't know, a picture of them, that's fine. Okay. Same, same effect. That and that's how I'll do my action figure photography as well. Just <laughs> <a> picture. <laughs> Just play drama. Yoko, Yoko is saying, first of all, Yoko, I, I, I didn't know if you wanted to come on because we'd be talking about the trip, and then even, even if, if it was like. Remember the Thursday stream? You know, it seemed kind of out of it because you weren't there. Um, I didn't want it to feel like isolating. But if you were fired from the enablers, you would know. So you're definitely not fired from the enablers. If you were fired from the enablers, we just wouldn't talk to you. Well, no one's ever been fired. They just stopped showing up. But you're definitely not fired from the enablers. And it's not a pity invite, obviously. But, you know, <laughs> those. <laughs> Those Tatums are taller than definitely taller than Ryan. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. The uh, the spinning like Mjolnir, Mjolnir though, Mario, in that Thor set, it's um, you'll just want to use it as a fidget spinner. Like, I have one at the office and I just sit there all day. That's exactly like, what I was hoping for. Just it's all really day long. Fun. It's more for I'm you to get any work done. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you need an extra one just for? Just a fidget? I'll fidget. Yeah, get more. All right, DK, what are you opening? Uh, I have too much to open, but I think I'm going to start off with... Oh, God. Hold on. I'm glad you're ready to... Uh... I'm oh! Ready. Jada Toys, <laughs> Chester Cheetah. This is the one that I want to open. And I th thought, I, I, I remember you getting upset at me thinking that I got the last one. I didn't. I kind of <laughs> I kind of held the grudge. Um, cause, and I don't know why. I saw it on, on the Titan Toys table. 
and I saw it in your hand, and then in my head, a part of me was like, "This mother," and then I was like, "It's fine. I I I should have bought it when I had the chance." So I was kind of okay, but a little bit bitter. Um, but then I saw it there on the table, and th he had another one. So, so it worked out. It, it was full habit. Sharing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna shout out to Danny and Titan Toys for this. this. Is where I got it from. So I'll be starting with this, and then maybe I'll be green. Yeah. some. I don't know. I got a bunch of SHF One Piece figures as well that I got to open. So, which ones? Gonna... Are you just gonna gloss no, over it? Yeah, I'm just gonna gloss over it because I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I also got Trafalgar D Law, and I also got Rononoha Zoro. Hmm. Sorry, what are those names? Trafalgar D Law. What's the D? He has an initial. Either Is he? Name is a, he has a D. So is he is he litigious? Is he a lawyer? No, he is not. I mean, he has he, I don't know. He, he has a middle a, initial. He has a devil fruit that can split people up, like he can slice and dice people. So interesting. Yeah. And then we got. Yeah, I think you've seen people open this one. What is it? So, Roro no Zoro. Yeah, that's and that's it. Hell yeah. All right. I got these jelly beans from Japan. Thank you to Ryan. Apparently, I've had these in Japan, and uh, I didn't even know. Those are from Janie. I, I didn't know what they were. I saw the confusion before, in your face. Her. <laughs> it was like when the kids show up on Christmas, they're like, thanks, Dad. And you're like, oh, what? where did you get that from? Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Um, but yeah, thank you then, Janie, if you're still watching. Tommy got me this really cool birthday present. I don't know if you guys saw it on the IG Live today, but this is crazy. Look at this clock. Oh, dude. So good. It's so cool. So this is the Simpsons episode where Kirk has to... Kirk, thank you, Winger Lose, today for reminding me the name. Has to draw di uh, dignity while they're all playing Pictionary. But um, look at this. I think like we were analyzing this, Mario, right? Like, um, yeah. The guy probably just recreated all of the all of the set and the background, the window sills, because you don't have a shot like this in the episode where you see everything uh, laid out. So I think he recreated all the setting in the background, the walls, uh, you know, the doorways and things. And then like everyone here is la is layers. So there's Carl um, and his wife, Reverend Lovejoy and uh, his wife and uh, Marge. And then Homer's here. Another another kind of layer uh, on the side coffee table there this is the coolest mm -hmm. like as a simpsons fan you know i don't even have a working clock in my house i was telling the guys today i was telling everyone on ig live the only clock i have has no battery for the last eight years the other clock is the microwave which ryan knows i always have seven seconds left so i never know what the time is hey matthew's here matthew toy what's up man oh hey hey what's up oh um, what my mic too loud? Yeah, the gain yeah. is up. Oh my bad. Them gains. Them gains. Yeah. What if I just do um, this? Does that work? But yeah, I gotta find a battery for this, and um, we're in business. This is a really cool clock. I'm gonna take some photos of this and post it on IG and Tommy. Uh, I'll I'll tag the the person who made it so that you know if you guys are interested, you can go get one yourself. Nachi, thank you for being here, man. Thanks Nachi for having me. Do you want to to what do you have to open tonight? Oh, I already I opened going? I opened this two pack while I was waiting in the in the green room. Um but uh I also long, have you weren't waiting that long, were you? Yeah, I mean you don't have a clock that's working, so I guess you don't realize how long I was back there. Yeah, I normally um leave those if I if I miss it, I have a, a co host that's supposed to you know do his job. Work. I thought you in. were. I thought you knew, and you were waiting to bring them on. To be honest, so yeah, it's all good. It's, it's all good. good. What else do you have to open? Then is that it? Uh, there's a bottle of soju. I'm gonna crack open. Oh, right it's not enablers. You know that, right? Yeah, this is not enablers. I'm thirsty. But then, why did <laughs> Mario's story says come like have a drink on his IG story? Because he's also thirsty. Okay. Jeez, DK, judge much? Wow. Yes, yes a lot. 
I didn't open this yesterday, so I was going to open it today. Yeah. Nice. And I also have... I already opened Donnie, so... But I have Leo. I have Mikey. Do you have the whole set? And I have Raph. And I have the KC two-pack in the suit. Hopefully, I get to all these. I also have some Mondos to open. Is this an Enablers episode? Jeez. If you said, if I have to open anything, I mean, I could save it. For Enablers? For For Enablers. But in two weeks, by the way, (laughs) open one Mondo. By the way, everybody, Enablers uh, for May is also Unboxing Thursday's episode 200. That's in two weeks. Um, Probably try to run some giveaways. And there's some new excitement, exciting things on the channel to um, to debut. So in two weeks, make sure you stay tuned. Come back. Um, I think 200 episodes is I don't think I ever thought I would go this far and have this many toys. DK, we talked about this before. <laughs> How long did you think I would be doing this? <laughs> I, I, I don't recall, actually, I, but. I, I really don't Which remember. Wasn't? Okay. Okay. I really don't remember. What What, what do you recall the uh, conversation to be? I don't know. I, I don't think you you were very uh, confident in how long I would be doing this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> in terms of how long I would be doing it. Well, it, it, you're you're doing fine. Out, outlived your expectations. Ryan yes. will have enough Jason Tatum's for another 100 uh, episodes of Unboxing Thursday. Uh, Ryan, are you getting those Pizza Club turtles if you see them? The NECA ones? Yes. One? Yes, that is my plan to get them all. They look great. What if you only... I know you have a personal rule for turtle collecting. What if you only see one? Are you going to wait? Well, for these, I'll... I need to get them all, so I I would pick them up. Yeah. So does rule of four only apply to turtle lines that you weren't expecting first or like planning to buy? It's more for like if the four are there, then you have to get them. It's it's (laughs) like, but if they're not four, then you are less motivated to get them. You have to Mm. contemplate. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that everything? Because I have so much to to show to open that I don't want to. I want to make sure everyone gets their chance in right now. All right, uh, Johnny Cock. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, says when does Yoko show up? I mean, she has the link, and she has never been fired. So again, we've never fired anyone. Uh, when was I hired? I don't know when you were hired. <laughs> It just we're just up. like we're just like all Asians. We just hold in our our feelings and emotions and, until uh, until something happens. Until episode two hundred. <laughs> is that the Festivus episode? Yeah, I like think it Rick should says? be. Mm-hmm. Until until you're at a red light, doing a heart to heart with the driver, and then mm. somebody else says, calls out an Optimus Prime. I'm oh, not, dude, not gonna do it. You have to, although I and I do miss that because it, it's not the same when you're on live because you're not getting up from your chair or any seats needing <laughs> to make that that sound. But, um, DK, there was what was that? What was that Transformers thing that was uh that debuted today? It was the Transformers um one trailer, which is the new animated movie, um, that Transformers is like Pasbro's is doing uh, with Paramount. Okay. So yeah, it looks good. I don't know if any of you guys had a chance to check it out, but uh, I think it looks good. I I clicked. I saw like a quick clip for it. It sounded like uh, was it Chris Hemsworth? Yes, Chris Hemsworth. Um, uh, voices Optimus Prime. Ooh. Um, but it's Optimus Prime before he becomes Optimus Prime. Correct. He and his name was Orion Pax. Optimum Prime. No. Okay. Fine. Orion I thought I I set that up. (laughs) Anyway, I was watching the clip and the whole time I was waiting for that that uh, transformation sound. And I was like, man, I miss those guys. (laughs) It it was the stupidest thing. Um, 
Loki Loki says it feels like it's for kids. Oh, definitely. I, I do think that it is aimed at kids for the uh, like kind of younger audience. I think they're trying to do kind of like what um, t uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is doing with the latest iteration of the reboot to try and make it a little bit more kid friendly, kid, kid funky, right? Like trying to grab the new generation. Yeah. 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 Would you buy the toys for this when it comes out? There are some toys that were released. Um, they released a uh, deluxe studio series um, or images. They released images of deluxe studio series uh, Optimus Prime, which might be the final form in that type of thing in, in, in the movie. Um, and it looks really good, actually. And they also released Alpha Trion, images of Alpha Trion, which is, I think it's another deluxe figure. And it looks good. The designs are good, um, but um, they showed his probably... final form before the movie it, came out. That's what it looks like, but I don't know if it's a concept art series um, type of thing or not. But it says Transformers One, so because it has his whole yes. battle mask and everything, so I'm just assuming that that's when he, you know, becomes Optimus Prime, gets the Matrix of Leadership, and becomes Optimus Prime. So. Nice. Uh, all right. Yes. Sorry. Toys that I'm opening. Toys that I'm opening today. Uh, I want to say thank you to June from Jada. Uh, sent some over. Sent over these two for uh, review. These aren't even in Canada yet, so uh, I, I'm I'm excited to open these up tonight and and see what it's all about and and. Uh, I gotta do some do some work this weekend with with these figures. Mario, stop making that sour face. <laughs> uh, I went to oh, I went to Value. Oh. <laughs> I went to Value Village and found a pack of brand new unopened Hero Clicks for three ninety nine cool. Canadian. I'm not gonna play the game, you know. I still think these are gonna be props for a diorama, uh, an apartment diorama that I'm never go going to build. Or take photos. Oh, you can put so. them next to Master Mold. Sure. I, I, I mean, don't understand good. what that means. Your Sentinel? The HasLab? Oh, that's right. My Master Mold. Yes. I understood you, Mario. I got this you. guy's never seen an episode of X-Men. So. <laughs> I'm a fraud this whole time. I have never <laughs> seen a single episode of... Uh, of X-Men. What's a, a master comic. mold? What's a master? Yeah. Um, Josh Brown, I don't know if he's still in the chat. Again, he helped me grab the starting lineup figures. Ja Morant, Trey Young, Luca, and Joel Embiid. And uh, he he's like, do you want me to take them out of the boxes to save space? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to open them anyway. But he bagged them individually in these Ziplocs, which was super cool. Thank you, Josh Brown. He also found, I don't know, Ryan, did you find these? Ollie's had this for three ninety nine. Oh my god, I'm looking for those. He's gonna have two hundred of these. You're gonna no. build every stadium in the NBA. I want one of those, man. Three ninety nine, dude. I got those when they were up originally. I but so I didn't see those anywhere else. Do you have Ollie's near you? In I, there is, there is. I went around Christmas time, and um, yeah, there were no starting lineups yet. Oh no. Time. Damn, three ninety nine. That's a deal. Insane. That's a good deal, right? Josh Brown, thank you, thank you so much. I'm excited to see what these are all about. Uh, Matt Logic also helped me, or gave me a uh, LeBron. We opened this two weeks nice. ago. He looks good. I like him. Like I'm gonna pose him in all his flopping glory. Uh, my friend Paul got me this as a birthday present. This is a Beast Kingdom '89 Batman. I think this is my first Beast Kingdom uh, kind of DC figure. I have I have Buzz Lightyear, but I want to see what these are all about. I know these are a bigger scale than uh, what are they one one tenth? I think one ninth. One ninth. Our good friend here, Matchy Toy, gave me a, a Denji, and we I know we opened it. When did we even open this? When we had did breakfast? We? We barely opened it. <laughs> I know. So I I want I want to like really really get into this um also i opened the kirby king that we didn't have nippers for so that was basically a wash and we need to mm. reopen that 
Uh, got this also, like DK did, from Jada Toys, Chester Cheetah. And, um, I mean, th there's that's a lot. That's a lot. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. What, sh what should we start with, chat? What should be the first thing we open? We have Sean Solo 8 here. Says, excited to see the new Legends value packed figures in the stream. Solid value? Mm -hmm. What's that? Which ones is value packed? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Torres, who says Jason Tatum? <laughs> you better get started, Ryan. Yoko, your present is still in America on its way here. Thank you. I will show it when it gets here. <laughs> Yo, she's angry right now. She's a hot potato. <laughs> you try to pass the potato? You're trying to pass the hot potato? You know what? Actually, I have one more thing to get. Uh, you guys start opening. DK, man the chat. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh-oh. He said... Uh, he said DK, man the chat. Yeah, DK, man this chat. Let's see it. Let's see the seventh figure down on the starting line. Uh, I think that's Jason Tatum. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. All cap locks. Get a gamble. Mood, Kirby. All right. I, I'm going to start with the fidget spinner. Fidget spinner Thor. So I could just spin all day, all stream. So the, the hammer. <laughs> uh oh, who is being half racist? What? Where? Oh, my potato comment? Whoops. <laughs> what did he get? By I swear to God, if it's a potato head. By the way, Ryan, <laughs> I ordered this, I think, seven days ago. And it, it got here in six days from Hasbro Pulse. Uh, I split my order with my good friend Jason Lapidus, because he wanted to complete some sort of Avengers style team. Look at the artwork on the back of this thing. Is this yeah, that, a was a, that was a record time for reveal to shipping to people getting it. So um, probably can't do that all the time or most times. But uh, it was a nice surprise. It's 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 so cool. Especially here in Canada, now that Pulse changed their um, shipping policy, I think it's free shipping here, over seventy five dollars for yep. uh, certain items. So, like, I got two of these. Um, Jason still has to come pick his up, but this this is so awesome. Um, especially because, like, the, the you know, again, thinking with a toy photography brain, but I don't take any photos. The fact that you can you get the small ship to go with giant man to make it look like he's you know giants if you if you have small buildings to go around like and, and to do that um i think that's a, that was a really nice touch for this but now you already opened his so i'll you can show that and i'll open that another time i'm gonna do a video for that too um also at the toy con i got this spd green ranger autographed by the actor matt uh Sadowski, who 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 was there as a guest of uh touring around ToyCon and he autographed this. It looks so good. Nice. I like the yeah, thin was... I like the thin Sharpie signature. Yeah, it was cool for cool of him to show up and hang out with us at the bar too afterwards. That was great. Did did you did you get an autograph from um Wolverine? Mario, I thought you Me? were going to. Yeah, because you said you no, wanted I, I told an you, autograph I from Cal Dodd. Well, tell, t I know you told me. Tell everybody. You're like, I want to get something signed. And then I found you my uh, Marvel Legends VHS Wolverine box. Yeah, no, I was uh, waiting all day. And um, I just, I don't have a good excuse, dude. I just chickened out. I got a little We both chickened stuff. out. Yeah, well, it's funny because me and Macho were standing literally in front, and I'm like, dude, should we go? Should we go? And there was like, we could have just walked right up, and we're like, let's bail. Why didn't you? Know? you? It's so weird. Out. 
Also, I, also, I felt like he was going to grab this box and like feel the weight that it was empty. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm we like, told you to go outside and put some rocks in there. <laughs> yeah, I should have put like a brick in there or something. She's like, this cheap bastard didn't even <laughs> buy the toy. He, like somebody opened it and you were waiting by the garbage can. You're like, oh, I can get this signed. And it was wrinkled in the front too. I was like, I can't, I can't show up there with this thing. It's going to make fun of me. <laughs> you should have put in the potato head. Oh, it's a good idea. Oh. Um, actually, yeah. So again, from the trip, for everyone who missed the potato head joke, DK and Mar and Mario did a stream filled in for me a couple weeks ago, and uh, in the history of everyone who's had a bad camera due to, um, you know, internet connect connection or whatever, it happened once to Mario, and DK, I don't know, pulled off some super nice zinger that uh, stuck Thursday night, and then, you know, Mario became this uh, potato head like figure like his moniker for the whole week um whole weekend anyway i'm gonna potato head icon <laughs> anyway i found this at the dollar store it's a mr potato oh, no. head uh well, toss. <laughs> i don't like this uh i got you one mario not you i got you one ryan i got you one dk i got you one so next time i send some stuff to you guys you will have mini mario a memento of of this trip. That's sick. <laughs> okay, but the cool part is, dude, like the container itself is the potato, and the parts are inside. Well, that's how Mr. Potato Head is. I know, but like even in the small version, is this some blind pack, blind series thing where there's like different variations of Mr. Potato Heads? I don't know. You got to collect them all to get the hair. Yeah, Matthew, you're right. For a second, I forgot that's how Mr. Potato Head works. You know, I find it ironic that you're but making yours came fun in of a me. box. Dude, you're making fun of me, showing off a potato, and your camera is potatoing right now. I don't know what's happening. Oh, oh my ISO potato. is at 12,800 <laughs> for some reason. And I'm the potato? <laughs> <laughs> is that a purple hat? Oh, maybe I should write Ube Ariel's on hat. It. Yeah. No, that's the feet. Is it? What is it? What is it? It looks like a. The hell is that? Is that Ube? It's an Ube. <laughs> it's oh, Ube. there are different ones. Just write Ube on, in black instead. Is Chamba going to be okay with that? Royalties. He doesn't own Ube. Oh, cool. Actually, he does. Well, oh, this is it. I still know. Oh, it's an ice cream cone. You're wearing cone pants. That's ice cream. That's Ube ice cream. Your potato ice cream. It's a laughing potato, too, it looks like, with the face. Uh oh. The ultimate potato. Stop trying to pass it off. I pressed the on off button. Oh, my God. Well, you're a potato. You I can't see where the buttons are. Toymigos gifted five toying around membership. Thank you, Toymigos. Oh, no way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheney, Dario, either way. Thank you. All right. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to build this. Just switch it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Toymigos, for the five gifted <laughs> memberships. If you got one, please say thank you to uh, Toymigos in the chat. And um, I'm excited to see everybody in San Diego for Comic Con. They're tater tots. Wait, is that what it's Everyone called? Mr. Potato Head Tots. Dude, I'm going to spin this thing right off. I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm trying to find my actual fidget spinner of the Thor hammer. Someone got me one. All right, um, you guys open something. Thank you, Yoko. Oh, no. See? Make him big, Machu big. Did you break that? Are you joking? You're you're a potato right now too. Am I? Yeah. And it didn't oh, help that God. you weren't moving. It's spreading. It's spreading. <laughs> it's spreading. I'm spreading. It's spreading. Oh, I don't did like that. The face is just one piece. God damn it! Did How it break it? or did it pop off? I think it just popped off. Oh. Okay. 
maybe get some hot water. Yeah, we'll put that to the side. I'll I'll take out another turtle. Now I'm curious what you guys got. <laughs> this, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It, this kind of looks like you. <laughs> There's no such thing as potato ice cream, all right? <laughs> Have you never had Ube Malona? Those ice cream bars are incredible. They're so good. I hope I, I catch you eating ice cream one day. That's, how, that's the face you made after I showed that clip of Jay Shot diving off the top rope. Because that was funny. <laughs> uh, Winger Lou says, Manic Mike, Kirby Kai, Johnny Cock, David La Huerta, MC were gifted the membership by the Toy Migos. That is super generous of you. Thank you so much. And everyone, yeah, if you can become, uh, if you want to be a channel member, uh, you get access to the special emojis that we have here in the chat for the live streams. And uh, you also have the option to to gift uh, a one month membership to other people too, if you want them to experience the fun of being a channel member here with us. Um, Ryan, I, I do have a question for you. Um, on the, on the last day I came to pick up, uh, cause you, you said you were leaving early for the airport from the hotel. So I came uh, to the hotel later on to pick up uh, the other guys and I see, I pull up in the van and I see Mario standing there with the cigarette and uh, the pack of unused toilet paper. I don't know if you saw the photos. Um, and it was exactly like the, the Ben Affleck meme where he, what, what is that screenshot from anyway? Was he just like in the middle of shooting or is that from an actual movie? I'm not sure. It was like it was a family rock. gathering though. Family gathering, <laughs> but yeah, Mario was standing there, and I'm like, "Look at this fool!" So I, I pull up, and I was trying to take a photo of it, and then the, it was blurry through the windshield, so we had to, you know, um, re, you know, kind of reset the whole photo and pose it out. I took the picture. Did you did you see us there? Which day was this? This was the day, the last uh, Monday, I think, when you were going to the airport. No, because you guys, I, I just remember I was there and you guys were already in the car. You were you guys were like leaving okay. or something. Yeah, because I, I picked them up and then we did a UE to go to the front. And as I'm driving, I, I'm like, oh, my God, there's Ryan right there. Um, I think you were waiting for your car. So I just stopped the car and I ran out um, to, to give you a hug. And then the guys were like, oh, if Kev's out, I got to get out. So these two came out and we, we just hugged in the middle of the street. and. And then for whatever jumping. reason, I, I was like, let's make this weirder. So I just started jumping up and down. But did like did, were you and then I think Matthew and Mario joined in afterwards. Did you know like you didn't know we were there? Because I feel because we're like, oh god, we're making this joke here. You're like, oh, it's those guys. What are they up to now? And, no, I didn't know I didn't see. Like, I was uh... holding toilet paper and posing for photos. And then you're like, I'm just gonna go this way. And then when I drove by. We're like, is that Ryan? You, you know, oh no! And he had... <laughs> no, I didn't see you guys until you called out in from the car, and then I looked up because I think I was—I thought I was going to be late for the car because he was pretty close by. So I was wondering if the guy was there yet. And then it was like, "Hey, Ryan!" And I was like, "What?" And then oh, you, you thought we out. were the Uber at first? No, well, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sean goes plot twist. That wasn't Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was and then afterwards kev's like kev goes like did you jump and i was like oh i don't i don't think so you but said the bag because, was weighing you down that the backpack was weighing me down and also i've seen those clips from like the home run like walk off home run celebrations where like the guy in the middle he gets hurt because he starts jumping right and everyone starts freaking out so i was like hey i'll play it safe that no way you're like you don't want an acl injury yeah in the middle of this uh this goodbye <laughs> i i don't think i ever would have thought of that in that situation That's instead good. instead ryan just took took it took three grown men shaking him up <laughs> you're uh you're a true one ryan <laughs> but that was very nice i did not expect Kevin to get out of the car and then everyone else to get out of the car too. So that was actually very nice. It's just traffic. Cause I didn't, I didn't expect to, uh, actually, to see you there. 
I you know what, Ryan? Good. You should have seen the inside of the car. Like, Kev gets out. I'm like, uh, me and Joseph are like, all right, I guess we're all getting out. But Machu is like clawing at the door. Like, he couldn't get out faster. <laughs> He's trying to break it open. He's like, I got to get out. I got to get out. <laughs> Machu really struggled with the, the minivan uh, door, I think, consistently yeah, break it? Over, over three days. I kept pressing the button. That's You're just supposed to press it once. No, I, every time I pressed it, like once. Oh, I, I thought, didn't press it multiple said, times. When you say I kept pressing the button, I thought you meant like. Oh, no. I thought you meant like I thought I was like swinging the door open. Was it like at the uh, at the podcast? So the opening acts uh, was this other comedian, and she starts. She, what did she have? A trumpet, and she starts playing the Canadian national anthem, and then everyone stands up. But then me, Mario, and Macho <laughs> yeah. are all kind of looking at oh, each other, like that was so we good. Stand up eventually too, and I think we did, but it wasn't at first. We were like not in yeah. a rush to yeah. jump so, up like everyone. What What <laughs> happened was we bought four tickets first, and then. Um, I think later later on Ryan was like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be coming up too." So we're like, "Oh, awesome!" So instead of buying six new tickets and selling, trying to sell four with like, um, like a time crunch with dealing with the toy con and everything, I'm like, "We'll just buy we'll just buy two more, and I'll sit with Joyce, um, two rows behind you guys." So uh, we went to the Bad Friends podcast, and if you don't know, it's it's like one of my favorite ones that I listen to every week. Uh, Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino, and their opening act is uh jesse i don't know one of the people that another comic that comes on on their podcast once in a while and um she she yeah she played the trumpet i guess it was a pretty cool start uh as a sports fan hearing the national anthem start up first that it's always a good feeling so she started playing we're like oh this is real like she's committing to it i got up i took my hat off and i did say to joyce i'm like look at these americans like are they are they gonna stand up and i saw did dk did you stand up yeah i took my hat off too He's, good yeah, good he's, man. He stood up immediately and and we were all kind of just like, is this a bit? Like, I don't know what to do here. It, was a yeah, like, so, it, it wasn't the national anthem at first. First it was Titanic, yeah. which yeah. is Celine Dion, which is our second national anthem. Yeah. If you don't have the rights to play the first one. So and then the, yeah. And then the, when she started playing the real national anthem, I turned to Mario and I'm like. <laughs> Do we? He's like, it's not my national anthem. <laughs> Wait, so show of hands between the three Americans, did you know it was the Canadian national anthem or? Yeah, because everyone was started it. singing it in the yeah. audience. Too. But you didn't recognize it by sound. When when 4,997 other people stood up, I was like, I think this might be it. <laughs> well, there's what gave it away. There's, 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 people, there are other Americans too. There is, yeah, there's other people there that weren't standing. So, but like, I, I knew it was the Canadian national anthem because I, I watch wrestling, so they, I've heard it on wrestling before. Wait, and then you they still play the national decided anthem to sit on... down. What you still kept like, you knew it was real, and then you just still sat down. You're like, that's this. That's more disrespectful than not knowing and sitting down because that's I didn't, ignorant. I stood up. I didn't sit down after I heard the actual national anthem. But he's saying you didn't get up. Oh, well, you standing up and then sitting down would also would be. Oh no, I didn't stand up and then sit down. I waited you until were it was sitting... over. My goodness, DK, <laughs> do you do you know the American national anthem? Uh, if I hear the tune, yes. All right, give me the first, first oh, three God. words. First, give me the first line. Oh no! Come on, it's like oh, don't, say, don't, can don't. you see? There you go. I, nah, I Good job. Would you stand up, DK? Yes, I would stand up. You say that now? No, I, I have, I've, I've gone to the states to hurt the national anthem. I have stood up. You uh, guys were in on an away game, and that home team's national anthem was on. So definitely, you need to stand up. But do you stand up for the away team's national anthem? DK, we, we stand for everything, right? Yes, we stand for everything, and take off our, our hats. Okay, good. I teach my kids that too. They they already know what to do. So you know, Mario, Matthew, I'm a little disappointed. I stood up eventually. We For, all did. out of peer pressure. You did. You just didn't want to pressure. Ironically, you don't want to stand out in a crowd of everyone standing because you were sitting. But there's other that... people still sitting the whole time. We actually stood up though. No, honestly, what I thought was I thought the people knew that we were American 
and they were going <laughs> to shame us for standing. And I'm like, sit down, you dumb Americans. That's what my fear was. That's so true. Like, Do Americans fear that? I don't think Americans fear that. Americans They're fear like, shaming. I, don't, I think you're just like, nah, we're, we're Americans. I don't need to stand for your inferior national anthem or something like that. Maybe not Ryan because he goes to sporting events. Also, I didn't know wrestling had national anthems. Well, I know who Bret Hart is. So, like, whatever they like, when they were in Canada, they, they would sing the national anthem. So, I, I know what the Canadian national anthem is. Okay. Oh, my God. The chat, dude. <laughs> All right. What's the chat saying? What's up? Uh, Carl's here. Those not standing, they were in wheelchairs, says Winger Lose. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You know, to be honest, they probably were. The ones in the I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm not laughing at people being in wheelchairs. I'm laughing at the fact that that's what you guys were using as the basis for for not standing. Um, I don't hockey. They have it. Wrestling. I don't watch wrestling, so I didn't know that they played the national anthem. Um, is it? Is it Saint DK? Do you know? You kind of knew the first line. Kind of. I just wasn't sure what... I couldn't remember what it is. It was written by um, this guy, uh, the brother of this guy named Jose, according to Tor Torrenzo and Wade Howlitson. Um, what am I missing here? Where's the Ralph UN model Simpsons meme when you need it? I, I'm waiting for that mm. Super 7 Ralph uh, Ultimates. The RCMP were ready to toss 796 and match you out of the country. That's the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, the ones and that are Ryan watching. and me. No. And me. He was I sitting like... right next to us, so by association, they would have. And Ryan's a good friend; he would have been like, "I'll, I'll go with." He, he's like, "Just get me out of this podcast." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I, I watch, I watch the Bad Friends Pod every week. I think Mario, Mario's a fan too. I don't know about the other three, but I'm like, you know what? They're in. They happen to be in town. Um, my birthday weekend. Like, let's let's cool. And DK was very nice. He bought me tickets for my birthday. Uh, thank you, DK. And DK went, and he's not even a fan. He's like, I don't like that Bobby Lee. Um, really? Was I not supposed to say that? Well, but he went because he was a good friend. He's like, I'll go regardless. So uh, they had Jesse, Jeske, whatever her name is uh, open, and then they had Bobby do his set, and then uh, Andrew Santino did his. And the stand-up was, was like pretty solid, right? Really good. Yeah, it was good. Um, and uh, total, it was an hour, and two weeks ago I went to see Jerry Seinfeld, and that was probably an hour or something, and I was like, it wasn't a perfect show for him. I feel like an hour is a long time. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour is a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, they, the three of them together did an hour. It was pretty good. But then that's when like the they started tr uh, to do crowd work. Mm -hmm. They started off um, they in the beginning of the show, they put out QR code. Oh, if you want to be part of the show, scan this, sign a waiver, and you can be part of the show at the end. And I think the wild card here is that when you you bring somebody from the show or like the audience in you you don't have any control you're not prepared for what they're doing and what they say and on top of that um you know when they're inebriated like it 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 just doesn't flow well mm -hmm. and on top of that Bobby Lee keeps part of the part of the shtick was showing his uh bare ass to to people who were on the mm -hmm. stage so it definitely got a little bit weird right yeah I could have done without the uh, ass and faces bit yeah. and the drunk people because they because they weren't funny. That's the thing. It, it started off high and then it just kind of went off the rails and fizzled out. And just... can I can I just point out that the during the crowd work that the only person who didn't lie was the American, the guy from Rochester, New York, was uh, the HVAC guy. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah the only guy who hero. didn't lie. He was a hero. Yeah. The crowd hated him, and then hey. they loved him. Oh, he yeah. turned it. He turned it around. Oh, he had, a, turned it he around. had a sad story. But the yeah. other people were not good, and they you know lied. What's crazy? Are you that trying to say that up. he stood up and he only had one leg? Yeah, for the national anthem. <laughs> yeah, that's not helping our case, Mario. <laughs> he's an American. He's he's on our side. He, your potato has no legs. <laughs> <laughs> 
and he can see, and he still stands. <clears throat> yeah. So like when when people are are drunk and high, I've probably done this too. Like I'm hilarious, and they were just being obnoxious on the stage, and and uh, I think them being like. The, the podcast guys being professional stand-ups they knew how to kind of keep the show kind of moving and, and dealing with it's almost like dealing with hecklers uh yeah. but to me like they just kept doing segment after segment where i'm like okay i think i see what's going on here they're trying to give you more value for for your sh- for the ticket for the show like these people came out and not only can we get people involved but it's just more more uh more to talk about when they leave the show but yeah some of that the second half was um even i was a little perturbed yeah mm. i wonder how that windsor show went because they said it was pretty good yeah the crowd work yeah maybe but windsor was also five hour drive away and mm. uh definitely Ryan would not good. have lasted <laughs> he's like i might as well drive up from <laughs> Did you guys talk about his one-liner? Oh, dude, perfect, perfect one-liner. I'm still, I'm still using it to this day. Two weeks later, I think I used it yesterday. Uh, we're, we're driving in Niagara Falls, and, and it was a little bit of an uphill, and the sun was just beaming down. I think it was dusk. Which one's dusk? Morning or night? Night. Night is dusk. Yeah. yeah. I always think of the title from Dust Till Dawn, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> uh, pinpoint which one is which it just makes me think of the movie um <clears throat> yeah so the sun's coming down my car is kind of on an uphill and it's beaming down this was a saturday before the uh before the big eclipse and i'm trying to drive like this the visor is down the glasses are on nothing's helping and from the back row this guy who's been sleeping for like an hour and a half <laughs> on and off up. yeah all i hear is from the from the back as if it was an enabler stream he's like sure could use an eclipse uh, eclipse around here like <laughs> That that's very funny. Thank you. That that's great. <laughs> I'm like I can't see, but damn, that that was good. That was good. Tr- trying to block out the sun. I think I think we were also driving in the wrong direction because this is we were <laughs> looking for parking, and then everyone was on their phone. And I'm I pull up the maps and I see, like the water, and then the casino bits and then our little dot and it's like going to the left (laughs) like further away from the area of niagara falls and we were and then the idea was like oh we're gonna park and then go walk down but then we were and then someone eventually said something of i think we're going the wrong way and then you had to like turn around well thanks for uh mapping it not saving not saying anything but saving it for the (laughs) one-liner There's like, other I'm, people in the car who had had uh, smartphones with maps in it. Wait, wait. Yeah. I love how Ryan has his map up because he's like, I don't think this is right. <laughs> he's just, no he's me. Because it because the areas got, kept getting less and less touristy. Right. Like, yeah. 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 Started with all restaurants and like lots of people. And then it started just to be like residential almost. And like, yeah. So then that's when I looked up. Looked on I was I was afraid that Kev was trying to find like a free parking spot. I'm like, dude, this guy's really going through great lengths to avoid paying for parking. Like, we're gonna have to walk like an hour and a half. Does that seem like my character to not okay, a little fine. bit? That's fair. A little bit. <laughs> That's fair. All right, Grumps makes a good point. Is anyone opening toys? There's some people opening toys. Yeah, Ryan's gone through one through. of seventeen. This Jason this Tatum's. is impossible. By the way, I had to like I'm gonna have to look no on way. YouTube. No, come on, you're you're. But no, it's like there's there's little there's something inside of it. So there's a mechanism that you have to like tilt it at different angles and do stuff. But yeah, it's it is actually tricky. It's level this... five out of six on the on the little uh, rupee scale or whatever that is. It's pretty high. Pretty high. But it's only four pieces. Yeah. And. <laughs> And when I was Google translating the instructions on the back, it says does not come with answer key. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you know what? Maybe Ryan should be uh, co-hosting too. If he's so quick to Google Maps and Google uh, Translate, do we need a team of two, DK? No, that's, that's sure. DK. DK's got it. Locks down. Sure. Him right there, man. How, how dare you? Look at him. <laughs> DK. DK can, DK can uh, man the chat. Ryan, did you guys get new microphones can. for the live stream? Like the wireless ones? Uh, the, Has- the Hasbro live stream? Sometimes they have the 
the clip on ones and sometimes it's like the wireless sometimes they're wireless and yeah. sometimes they they are the tethered ones okay i think I, re- I i saw the last two you guys were wearing the wireless ones i think like was it the magnet through your shirt yes <laughs> I'm having trouble remembering. Yeah, the last, yeah, the last one prior to I think did it was. It's a really strong magnet that one. Yeah, but then I think for the most recent one, he tried to give it to me, but it wasn't working, and so I think I went back to the to the tethered one. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why that's what I'm looking at uh, on those live streams. Everyone's like toy reveals. What equipment are they using? Matthew, did you notice? Well, no, I didn't. Comment. I I, I always check. Toy- I was looking at the toys more than the, the equipment. Well, you know, sometimes I get distracted. Uh, Wade Hellison says, I want to see Tiger Belly because I would love to see Kalila. I, I watch Tiger Belly too. I think they come out on Thursdays. Um, nice. There you go. There's a lot of fans of that in the chat. Um, all right. Let's go with the next topic since we're already talking about driving the wrong direction. <laughs> um what night was this friday night we went out to dinner and um we, we finished <laughs> we went to we went to dinner at pie uh ryan wish you could have made it i wish you know i wish everyone who uh could have come hang uh hang out there so but we had dinner and then we're like oh let's go grab drinks at the bar across the street so some people went to the bar first some people had to leave early um i went to my car to get something for paul and so we leave we leave the parking lot and um there's a car driving next to me on the street and and then all of a sudden I hear this loud horn just kind of like going off for like 5 seconds straight and then I look down the street the big truck at the end of the street it was an 18 wheeler turning in and so the it was prime. In, it was turning in like out. Mario hmm? you, you need the tr- Oh, no, uh, 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 uh. oh, that's not as good as before. I wasn't ready, dude. Okay. All right. Next time. So anyway, the horn's going off for like five seconds and he's turning in and he's like face to face with this tiny car. And I'm like, why is the truck being a jerk and turning on the wrong side of the street? And the, and the, the horn's still going. And then I look up and I see a sign. It's a one way street and the truck is going the right way. And this little car on the street was going the wrong direction. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy went the wrong direction. Oh, my God, look at that license plate. It's DK. And sure enough, it was DK. And, <laughs> and and his girlfriend driving off came out of the garage in the wrong direction. And so he's like, he's panicked, three-point turning. Because I can see, I, I and I asked his girlfriend after, apparently she was screaming in the car because when I looked at it, it looked like the car was panicking. I didn't know how <laughs> was yeah, oh, no. like it was like it was a transformer who had feelings. I could feel the emotion of the passengers in the car. They're like, all right, chill, chill the fuck out, chill, just fuck out. Like, yeah, I get it, I get it, I fucked up. So he's three point turning, and of course, what do I do? I have to take my phone out and and document that DK went the wrong direction down the street. And uh, I think I think your girlfriend saw me in the car. She I, in the she's in the photo, laughing. she's laughing. She's what, laughing. What was your uh, what, what were you thinking at that time when you were three point turning and the car and the trucks just like laying into you with his horn? <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. That's, that's what it was, right? It's like I, I knew where we were, like uh, Young and Eglinton was really close by, and I knew that that was the young, young Street, right? So I just came out of the parking lot, I wasn't paying attention that there was apparently a giant one way, you know, sign like one way street sign there. Right? And it turned out. And as I turned out, I just see the truck coming at me and he's honking. And I'm like, what's this motherfuckers? Do-? I'm like, Oh, he, I, he I, was I not nice up. about it though. He, oh, he wasn't. really, and I probably would have been the same way. If yeah, I was yeah. A, he, he, he wasn't. And, and he was like honking. I'm like, what's this guy's? Do-? Oh, I goofed up. And then I'm like, crap. So I'm like trying to do the three point turn thing. And then as I'm doing the three point turn thing, I just, I'm like, Oh, great. There's Kev. There's Paul. <laughs> And Paul right? was there too. Yep, Paul was there too. And then what do you do? You walk up even closer to me and you just pull out your phone and you're like, click, bye. <laughs> and just laughing. 
And that's what it was. And I'm like, yeah. you're like, yeah, of course, of, of anyone who's going to witness this happening, this yes, goof up, it had to be it's you. me. Yeah. Uh, and you're like, are you are you ever like, oh, this is going to be on the show? Oh, yeah, I already knew. I already knew that this was going to be discussed. Um, I parked in the same lot as you. And when I left, like you said, <laughs> and I told you this, obviously, because you didn't yes, see it. Um, when you leave that parking lot. Also, when I leave a parking building, my first thing is to map it so that I know where to turn when I get to the front. I don't want to be that guy at the front of the, the supermarket line where they're like, oh, is it my turn? Oh, do I have to pay now? I don't have my phone. I don't have my wallet ready. I'm like, I, you know, I don't want to hold hold up that line there's that anxiety yeah. there so that's that's my priority i leave this parking lot there is a giant no right turn sign on the right so in case you look to the right they're like don't go this way don't don't even try it kid and across the street there's a le- <laughs> one way this way sign and you missed both yes those and, things look awesome yes, they and did. also there was a big ass semi truck barreling down <laughs> at you why didn't you just wait for the truck to pass and then go. I know what you were trying to do. Just did you think you were gonna get like past him or what? Oh, were you gonna go go for a fast and furious? Just kind of eke out the last. <laughs> oh, no, I wish, but no, I I couldn't do it. There was no room. There was other cars on the street, right? So there I were other cars. because yes, it's a one. I had to. I had to go. <laughs> <laughs> this lane sucks. There's no room. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, dude, that yeah, was uh, that, that was something else. Happy also, birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, are you saying you did that? That performance? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It was a, uh, it was a bit. It the whole weekend bit. was a bit. Yeah. Oh, my goodness! So good. Did Ryan? Ryan, did you know about that? Did you also know that DK locked himself in a lockless bathroom on the th- stream Thursday night? I did hear about that. <laughs> And then he claimed it was not uh right. Yes. Wasn't that big of a deal? Yeah. Not he not spent like 30 deal. seconds. We heard him struggling. Like, it's not 30 seconds. Fine, a minute and a half. I was trying with your publicist Carl here. I was I trying know. to be nice. It was definitely <laughs> probably more than 30 seconds. Uh the whole the whole chat heard it. The whole, the whole stream, everyone in dude, Matt Logic, when he found out that there was no lock, <laughs> no, no, um, it's not, it's not that Matt Logic found out there's no lock, is that I actually told Matt, I'm like, listen, <laughs> I confided in him, I'm like, there's, there's no lock, and you then thought you that's when he just him? shot up, and no, 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 I just wanted to tell him to, to just have a conversation, and he shot up and he went beat red, man. Holy I've never God. seen someone, it was almost like, um, <laughs> You know, like in Looney Tunes, when someone drinks something way too hot, yeah, and their whole color just changes to to pure red. That's what happened with Mad Logic. He was laughing. <laughs> he was laughing at you. You thought you could confide in him. No, no, and- no. Like the it's, it's not like I knew that I was gonna get a laugh out of it. Right? I knew that he wasn't gonna hold it in, right? But I didn't. I expected him to laugh. I didn't expect him to change color. <laughs> <laughs> to, to more i don't think any of us expected that oh no, no none of us did dude so he was, was holding onto the sure. wall yeah trying to he brace himself breathe. he couldn't breathe man okay you guys want to talk about yeah. toys let's talk about toys. yeah dude that doll seam jesus that so that good. doll seam ryan you said ken was the last one that you needed you have these already doll seam and m bison yeah, um, uh, MCU collector Bryant. When I when we met him at WonderCon um, right. a couple of weeks ago, he was nice enough to hook me up with M Bison and Dalson. So I I have them two already. <clears throat> oh, there's a little ropey rope necklace. Is that plastic or the rope is rope, and mm. the plastic is um... plastic? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The skulls are plastic. Oh, okay. <laughs> laughing over there ropey rope so everyone has this uh but me yeah why don't you get one? <laughs> oh, oh no because the oh, arms because switch the okay. thank god oh yeah, then I actually heard... that that works because you don't have to like heat it up or anything and pop it off yeah all right let's just let's just do it and i think there's no articulation on the 
the long arm uh, wrist, the fist, is just molded in. So just be careful with that, maybe. Are you sure? I don't know. Someone said something about it, but do they move? Well, now I'm now I'm not sure you have this. Does this hand come out? I don't think you're not supposed to come out. Yeah. Well, he only punches with this move, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't <laughs> give try the to grab, grab from far. He's like yoga, yoga pinch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. The color matches well. Is the plastic like a matte finish on this one? Or is it shiny? Or I can't tell. You're, it's a matte it's finish. Hard. Okay. It looks great. It's I can't matte. wait to eventually get one. Abdominal. And then there's a rocker in there. Put him in his signature pose. What's, what's his signature pose? Does he float? Yeah. I don't want to switch the arm back. Damn, there's extra head. This is crazy. That's a nice head. Two heads. Look at how, like, arm swaps, leg swaps, hands, stands. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Figure of the year? Contender? Uh, I don't, a I lot don't of know. contenders. Dude, it's been a good year of toys so far. Well, I think the first month and a half, or maybe first two months, it was kind of like, it was slow, right? And then all of a sudden, this boom of like figures coming out. This is crazy. Was it slow? What are you talking about, Machu? I, oh, I was not. I didn't buy anything in Target or any Target on, like, on my hunts. Like I didn't buy anything at a hunt. In, I meant for like 2024 releases, like for. I'm just saying it started out slow, and then boom, it was like figures back to back. This arm, I got to switch both of these out. I this feel like this year's been killing me. Banger after banger. Now. <laughs> Just, yeah. Well, like pre-orders converting, new releases, stuff yeah. getting sent out earlier than expected. It's been a it's been a rough, good year. It's only April. <laughs> Dude. It's been a rough year. Have, <laughs> has anyone here been keeping up with... Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> with their uh, 2024 toy purchases and hauls for the year? I updated a few weeks ago. So you're current? Um, up to a few weeks ago, yes. Yeah, I did great. I sold a, I sold a lot. Oh, you're doing uh, the money in, money out stuff. I'm just doing money out stuff. Because <laughs> that's all that's happening. Good. It doesn't look good, man. This is this is a problem right here. Kirby, I don't even know my own license plate numbers, but I do know DK's. It's very recognizable. If he missed that sign, I wonder what other signs DK has missed, says Yoko. Oof. A lot. <laughs> Danger. Expiration dates. Yep. Toxic. Ex he tough. does not miss expiration dates. He chooses. <laughs> yeah. It's like, eh. mm. Do you do you want to get into that, DK? The oh, revelation the I found date? out this week. Which one was it? There's so many. Like, I have a very bad memory. What revelation do you have? Well, you, I think you have a bad memory from all the rotten food that you've eaten. So, probably in the past, <laughs> you've cooked a batch of um, well past due date chicken. Uh, I remember one time you told me you had food poisoning because you cooked it and you stubbornly ate the whole thing. No, no, I wasn't going to get food poisoning out of that. It was just regular poops? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It wasn't food poisoning. Uh, no, no, let's, no, no. Let's, for the record, let's set this straight. But you did uh, say you were um, immobilized and kind of left in the toilet that day, and and so we we had dinner um, with your girlfriend, like first official time earlier this week. Yes, finally. Yes, <laughs> Thanks because for organizing that, <laughs> you were supposed to organize it, and you tried to use my birthday as. You like you tried to just use that as an opportunity to to say like oh here come come like meet meet her and hang out that that was not the time i've been busy we've been busy all right so we we had the dinner and she told me that um also expired milk is something that you enjoy correct. no incorrect that milk <laughs> do you was know not, the do milk you know the difference between expired. correct and it. i mean that 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 milk okay the milk was spoiled for sure Yes. 
but the best before date had two more days on it. Yes. All right. I did not do the smell test. Okay. I just poured it and I looked at it. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I think this is bad. I'm like, oh, well, it's poured in. Just went for it still. I had no issues, but I didn't further drink or use that milk afterwards. And yes, my girlfriend had to pour out the, the rest of it. She said you, you left it and you didn't throw yeah. it out. The reason is, is because we usually uh, throw, throw, throw it out like on Thursday. All right, fine. You right? just put it, keep That's it in the fridge right? until garbage the day. Until, yeah, garbage day. That's it, right? So she went and poured it out. I'm like, okay, fine, right? And then she was just like, oh, it smells bad. I'm like, well, like, you know, it's, it's what you get. Right? I don't get it, though. Like, if the smell was bad, you, you still finish the coffee. I didn't smell it at that earlier date. But then by the time she got around to it, it was it was bad. <laughs> but it the way the way you guys told it, it was like you you were very stubborn about like oh, oh yeah, that's it's true. fine. That's absolutely true. It's I fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm stubborn, like I'm gonna do this anyway. Uh what's an expiration date? But like who wins in that situation when you're being stubborn with yourself over consuming rotten food? N -n no one. No one wins. I still get my coffee. <laughs> That's the important thing. I'm I'm so confused, man. <laughs> I'm I'm so confused. What is what how does he punch with these long arms, by the way? Just like that. Just, just like that, straight. I'm I'm trying to look up. Doesn't he do a double punch? It's a yeah. double fist. He'd be double fisting. I'm trying to look up Dalsim on Google and um not that many helpful helpful pictures. Okay, there we go. You know what we <laughs> nope. DK, uh, you remember when DK ordered plain flavor, plain flavored chicken, uh, bone in? Machu uh is yeah. gonna send you bones. A, a Machu, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but they can't see commercial. I ate the bones. You're the only person who's seen that commercial. I sent it to you guys. I, I, I know it was. You had to send it to us because you're the only person who had seen it prior to that. Do you oh, guys have little KFC earrings in Canada? Metal. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Okay. Oh, the little earrings are metal too. Mario, that looks dope. Now I have to look for that fidget spinner. Dude, this this really this accessory kind of makes this figure worth getting now. Because I didn't really I didn't really like the Yamaguchi Thor. Well, it, made, I, it makes the Yamaguchi worth getting. Uh, yeah, it's great because like the the spinning effect that you get with that Thor is it doesn't come with every figure. It looks like a, to, it looks like a floaty. Looks like a Sonic Boom, a Hadouken. What is that? A floaty? Yeah, this is supposed to be it's the a floaty. Spinning. Dude, they didn't even try with that. Hold on, let me give you the big. This is like a just the energy puck. Yeah, a hockey it, puck. It gives me no sense that something's spinning in there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what they were going for, but this it looks it just looks it looks rad. The only problem is I had to cut the um, I had to cut the strap in order to get it to fit. Mm. This, but I think it's still there. You go. You can see it. Solid though. Wait, you had to cut the strap? Oh, okay, because he has to just, hold. It yeah, shave it down a little bit. I only yeah, okay. I took a little piece off of it. Yeah. But yeah, no, I like it. Do and not get. Can, and now I can have him fight Robo Thor. There you go. Oh wait, I put his normal head on. Never mind. That Thor is good too. Yeah. I have him in cap. How does and, uh, how does the Iron Man. head look on on the, the head sculpt? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Ooh, I could put. Oh wait. Because I can, I, I'm I it mine's in a bin somewhere. I gotta look for it. Hmm. I don't feel like popping this. It's a ball joint on this Yamaguchi. Kirby Kai says Uniqlo has Street Fighter 2 t-shirts on sale. They're on sale already? I thought they came out two weeks ago. The Street Fighter <sighs> stuff. Or like a month ago. Yeah, Cable is taller. Man, Beast Boy. I'm not going to pop the head off. I'll Tony do it. Says Wave 3 is going to be fire. Oh, yeah. Yoga. Hey, D Blake makes what's up, man? Beast boy, thank you for being here. Um, oh, I'm behind in the chat. Machu, look. 
I think look it could big, work. Look how big that head is compared to. Well, I mean, like Yamaguchi heads are small. Yeah, Yamaguchi P head. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah we went... my reaction. Yogurt chunks. Yep, you thought like, you were getting extra protein? Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, yogurt chunks. DK Uniqlo had a Devil May Cry shirts. I don't know if you saw. I know you like that, right? No, nah, no, I didn't. I didn't see those. But I guess Do I. Do you like Devil May Cry? Yeah. I knew it. Called it. What gave it away? <laughs> Everything. You look like a Devil May Cry fan. <laughs> It's the complexity. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why. That's why we figured out. Like maybe that's why you're always slightly ill because you choose to eat the expired <laughs> foods. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're just like in a persistent state of food poisoning. <laughs> but he's he's slowly building an immunity. Yeah. Right. I, like, ha I have the immunity. He's not yet. Not yet. Because you're, you're always ill. Apparently. Who's you got to get over that. The color's not still the not old. there. Okay, the color. And it, it, maybe it's a, <laughs> like it, it's affecting your judgment. You know, you see one way signs. There are two way signs now. You well, know what the, I mean? arrow, the arrows are constantly dancing, like he's hallucinating. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it now. All right. We're not doctors, DK. Ryan, Legendary did you open your your minute doctor. mates? Minute minute mates. Mini mates. I did, but it came with so many accessories that it was a little overwhelming. So I just put it back in. <laughs> it can't possibly be that much. How much? How many accessories do you think come in this in this little thing? Let's go. Um, oh, oh, fire and a different hair piece for. <laughs> so let's Iron just... Fist. Does he have yeah. weapons? So this is crazy, guys. It's like. First of all, a secondary blister fell out behind it, which I was not expecting. But like, I hate when that happens. It's, it's all right. It's Iron Fist with another torso, torso, torso too, another, for the with another with like a hair, hair for if you take. I guess his bandana take the comes mask off. off. Yeah, he's got two fire f effects on his fists. There's. A, a clear flight stand for some i don't know how it works there's a fire stand there's so luke cage like jump kicks with, with two torso with like a jacket sorry a jacket two heads and then there's each of them have other arms and whoa all right like yeah. and then there's this little clear piece which i i don't know what that's for if anyone knows this little piece here so it was like so, too much i think you can separate the torso and the legs and then put them back together with that clear piece there on the stand and have him jumping or something like that. I think. Where are the mini mates pros at? Uh-oh. I've done that move before. Guys are flying. And they has each, each they have two little clears just for like standing regular. Like yep. um, so there's a lot. And this was I think I think I bought this for three dollars at a uh jeez. They're so outlet. good. Do they still make mini mates? Because I don't know if they're yeah. as yeah. yeah. Yeah, they still do. Popping as before. Let's and this was back. in 2016, so not even that long ago, but it comes with like yeah, like a poster and a business reply card if you want to <laughs> answer Diamond Select's uh, marketing research question by filling out your, your answers. Old school. But no postage required. If um, Is there a comic? The or yeah, or and there's like kind of, a, kind of a comic thing too. But this, just this, like to include this in a in a thing, like this costs That's money. Cool. Like, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the art, you should yeah. you should send it back, fill that out, and send it back, Ryan. What are they? What? Let's see what they want to know about <laughs> yeah. collectors. Ready? Where, where can you write too many <clears throat> accessories? What product have you just purchased? Why did you buy this? Which? How would you rate the quality? One to ten. How did you first see or hear about our product? What magazines do you read? What websites oh, do you frequent? Touringaround.ca, got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, you have a website? So, good stuff. That rock was for... Yeah, my, yeah. Those, that's that's an interesting form of uh, survey to fit in with, with figures. What's a magazine? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they have the internet in 2016? Okay, guys, this head... 
obviously he's gonna have to move his... <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> what i'm checking the articulation okay what do you mean well... <laughs> wait why are you laughing no, i'm not laughing i'm just uh, i thought you were gonna i thought you were gonna break him for a second no i'm, I'm just i just want to show the range <laughs> Oh, where are my flame effects? I only have ice. Oh, you know what? Shoot. <laughs> Is he okay? <clears throat> are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Hold on. Here we go. Thank you, Matt Logic, for, uh, for this, too. <laughs> We're going to get some flames up in here. There you go. That's using your noggin. Toy Collector Magazine is the only magazine I know of, says Josh Brown. Nice. Toy Collector Magazine is awesome. They have like a, a toy mag in hand and they have uh, exclusive reveals still. I think that's that's a pretty, um, pretty nice thing to have in a day where people just live for leaks and, and everything to wait for a magazine to show it. Like, that's commendable. Also, wait, I had Blake on from uh, Toy Collector a few months back. Super nice dude. All right. No, what if I had Yoga Fame douse him so, with a Cheeto? Question, Kev. Do you, going back to your convention. Yes. Were you... Is it what you expected it to be like? Or were you surprised? Um, you know what? First, was it what you guys expected it to be? I that's what I, I'd like to hear that first. Cause you know, you go a lot you go to a lot of uh toy cons and everything. Right. But like, you know, I, I haven't you know, you drove all the way up to Canada. It's a it's a new new event. Um and again, you don't have to say only nice things. Just I'm not start I'm with, not gonna share with nice it. things. I'm I'm gonna say like I, I told you there, like I, I was I was pleasantly surprised. The, the options for vendors you had it's like everybody had something different right and it's yeah. not only specifically just toys and it didn't feel like oh people were just going to like the dollar tree and just like buying a bunch of stuff and then selling it on their table or like like you don't have a target right or going to toys r us and buying their stock and just yeah. selling it on their table um there was a bunch of import figures there, and uh, Mario said that he didn't buy any toys really, but he bought he bought me a bunch of stuff to pay off his debt. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm a life for a life. <laughs> Did yeah. you buy from that uh, that vendor with the with the Pokemon figures? I I did actually at the end. Yeah, you snuck that in right at the uh, last minute there. It was contemplated because like I I've never seen that ash figure at a convention ever so i was just like oh you know it's great i'll buy it but uh if you guys all wanted to buy those other figures but you didn't yeah I, w I, I didn't really have time to sit down and and figure out that purchase i was kind mm -hmm. of uh running around but to answer oh, yeah. your question um it, i think it was more people than i expected to show up which That's good obviously uh is, is a good thing um mm -hmm. You know there was, so I don't know if everyone knows in the chat. I I threw I threw a, a, my first toy convention um, on April seventh, and these guys came up to you know hang out for my birthday, but also uh, were there to support in the show in various ways. And other people were there helping too. Uh, Carl, who's in the chat, did a lot of really great videos and photos. Uh, Kuya Kicks down there um, had a booth uh, with game with. Um, with some gaming DK, who else was there that was in the chat right now? Uh, Torrensu came out, Matt. Bearded Bills was there, Absolutely. Matt Logic was doing some photography. Thank you. Um, Kirby Kai was there, Kirby Kai, yes, yep. uh, was had the day off and was um shopping and hung out with us afterwards. Um, bearded. we said bearded MC, is this is this my MC? Is this the MC? It was a bigger turnout than the one from Heroes World. I didn't make it to that, unfortunately, but I'd have to say it was quite the upgrade, a deluxe version. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I would highly recommend for like people like D. Blake 
like next time to like see if you can get a table and come 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 up to Canada because and Mike and Mike, Mike yeah, yeah, definitely yeah I want, Mike. I want I want it to be like that. So I mean, everyone who was there, the majority of the people there are people who I know who like have stuff to sell or have a business or or make stuff, right? So right. to it, it's a way that they they have a chance to sell their stuff, show it off, meet other people in the community. So why not if people from the US can make it up yeah. um to to sell stuff too, right? I think that's the whole point of um to to have friends like this and and the, put put the event together. It's just having having a venue for everyone to to put that out there. This, this flame's too small, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is like more like a yoga burp. Yeah. No, he does fireballs. At, at the same time, it's too small, but yet too big, it looks like. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Pete, these are people who aren't in the chat right now, but they were there, obviously. Titan Toys and Danny Green. Uh, e Collectibles is the main sponsor. CJ, thank you. Kuya Kicks. Is he just naming all the Filipino yeah. people? Yeah. <laughs> just the Filipinos. <laughs> it, was, um, it was it was awesome to connect with all of the, all those people though. Yeah, I think that yeah, because then like other people meet meet others in the community, and and then you know yeah. they're like, oh, cool! I didn't know this was available. I didn't know Bearded Builds made you know wooden signs like this, and then people would hit them up to make logos and and things for their other homes or businesses to display. Uh, we had McFarland Toys out there. Um, displaying a whole bunch of, of stuff and Claudio was there and uh, had some giveaways. We had some um, Hasbro toys on display. We did some giveaways there too. I think people were really surprised Ryan was there too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. It was a, was it? it was a great show. Um, yeah. A lot of different <laughs> vendors. I had fun just walking around and checking a lot of things out. There's a good mix as Machu was saying. Mm -hmm. But I think I think the best part was uh, the concessions, the concession stand <laughs> yes. on point. For yeah, all did, the, did for you the buy the attendees? So, uh, my daughter was selling snacks, and it was like you know I was teaching her. She's learning about num uh, math and and money and things like that in school. So I'm like, why not use this opportunity to um, you know have her do ha start a little business, sell some snacks, and learn you know uh, just just what it, what is it um I, I don't know just just do the transactions and, and so she had a little business selling snacks and um out of nowhere no one told her to do this she made a snack uh, a tip jar she took an empty cup she ripped a piece of cardboard and she wrote tips uh something like tips are welcome thank you and i learned that i learned from jason lapidus afterwards because i had lunch with him he uh, he was like, "Oh, your daughter was so lovely. I loved her snack stand." I, w I went to uh, the concessions part to chat with her, and as we're talking, this is Jason talking. He goes, "As we're talking, she's looking at me. She's going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and she slides the tip jar towards him." <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, she just, you know, she's she's just talking, and then she just slides the tip. It's like she's the bartender, and she's like, listen, fella, I don't want to hear about your problems. Just put, put the money.'" in the tip jar so i'm like i i'm like dude thanks uh, like i didn't i didn't know what to say what would you say i don't i don't i, I was just very impressed by her uh, by her hustle right what else can you do i told him like you know you don't need to do that uh afterwards but i was i also was there's that fine line between laughing at something your kid does and go wow i was not expecting that that's really good but also not showing them for them to be like yeah this is good behavior that i should do again so I don't know what, what's the proper response there, dude. I, I don't think I told you this, but um, so plastic boy wonder was there. He gave me a cheesecake, right? And then I went to the back because, you know, in the concession stand, there was a fridge. Yeah. So I go up to your daughter and I'm like, hey, look at this cheesecake. Look what I got. And she's just like, uh, I'm working and then just walk back. <laughs> and and your wife was laughing her ass off. And I was like. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Jeez, I I left. Took my so wait, you tried to put the cheesecake in the fridge, and she was gonna charge you for putting it in the fridge. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of her. But dude, that look, she's like, I'm working. I'm working. I walked away. It was great. That's awesome. Great. 
Oh my God. I'm so happy to hear. I didn't know any of this. I, I just heard about that now. I know my wife said, um, make sure you charge Mario for everything. <laughs> Including the fridge space. <laughs> Including the fridge space. Ryan was super nice. And and uh, he was like, no, I insist. I'm going to buy. I'm going to pay for admission. I know Joyce told me that at the door. And uh, and then Joyce was, said to my daughter, she's like, whatever, don't charge Ryan for snacks. Because he paid he paid at the door. And uh, I'm glad she was charging you for the use of the fridge. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we should also, we, so good. Um, in, t in terms of what I expected, we only bought... Um, 200 wristbands. I thought wristbands would be the best thing for for people's entry. You know, you you, you pay for your ticket, you put a wristband so that you can freely go in and out. Mm -hmm. uh, we went well over. Like I ran out of wristbands, so I definitely um, was not expecting that many people or prepared for uh, that kind of situation. So we had to pivot when we ran out of wristbands. Uh, I'm like DK, why don't you use use a marker? And indicate on people's hands that like they paid and they went in and um and then you know it's not that bad but dk started using a sharpie to to mark people uh, i don't know if i would want to be sharpied or at least given an option to at the door for an event but what happened you used a highlighter afterwards and then on somebody uh, didn't show I'm, up i'm not gonna talk about that <laughs> i'm not talking about that one yeah, good job, DK. <laughs> they could be watching, so <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. Not so good. good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I I don't I don't know what else. Um, you know, I I feel like I had a good lineup. Uh, obviously, like, uh, Polly. We had Cal Dodd Wolverine. We had Matt of the SPD Green Ranger. We had E Collectibles. We had McFarlane. Um, we had we had a lot of Hasbro stuff on display and giveaway. Uh, awesome vendors in the community. Um, you know, we run it back next year, DK. Yes, Ryan. Oh, you got a nice case, dude. Nice. Oh, nice. Whoa, yeah, I, think, I think these are uh figure shield. Figure I had a shield. bunch of these lying around, so yeah, I got my X Men 97 Wolverine signed by Mr. Cal Dodd. That's awesome. Welcome. I love that case, and it just sits there on the ground, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's good. Good thing it's protected. Um, how was how was that meeting? Meeting him? It was cool. He was very talkative. His um, I assume wife was there too, right? She was she was yeah. very nice, chatting chatting everyone up, and they were they were super nice, and they weren't. Um, it seemed like they were very giving of their time, whatever the people oh, yeah. wanted to talk about. You know, they they would, and uh, so yeah, I think that was. A good get for you when you when you were planning at the event and you were like guys i think i got a, a, a an awesome guest and then we were wondering who it was and it was like oh yeah that is very that that's very topical because the mm -hmm. show is out right now oh my god people i couldn't are believe loving it. it and he was a cool guy i didn't i know you met him at new york comic-con um i didn't get to last year i was doing other stuff um so that, that was my first time meeting them yeah so um what happened yeah i met him in new york and I met him. So I met him in New York, and then apparently I didn't know this until uh, until the actual show. He told me on site um, when the X Men ninety seven trailer dropped. I did a reaction video and a reel uh, on Instagram, and apparently I tagged him in it, and he watched it. And there's a part in the beginning where Cyclops goes, um, "Oh, but we have to carry on the Professor's dream and and vision of blah 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 this and that." And my and my just initial reaction to that I was like, "What a dork!" How dare you? But apparently, he Cal Dodd saw that part, and like he he was laughing his ass off. <laughs> and then he was like, "That's awesome! I you know I gotta do something with this guy." And then so when I saw him afterwards at Toronto Comic Con, it was like New York, and then that video that he was like, "Oh, I remember this dude." And his wife Donna was like, "I remember this dude," and. uh and then when I reached out about the con, you know, they were open to open to the conversation because because they did remember me and they're and they're local. So that helps, too. And um, yeah, I I had no no idea I was going to that was going to happen. Um, I think, DK, if I we were saying, like, if I planned this last year, 
it, I don't think it would have been at this level. If I played yeah. it any other time, I don't think I would have got um, additional additional celebrity guests like that. Because last year, that was the tailgate, and I think we did that around Ju- May June, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. And so that was the first test, and then, well, that's nice. I know. I I think I don't have any NECA tune turtles, but mm-hmm. I th- I told when when Blaine was talking about this in San Diego, I'm like, uh, this is where I jump in. The set. Yeah, this is a good set. You get no all idea. the extra hands with the punk turtles though too, so you might want to pick that up also. Mm, I don't know if that's that's a little too much. That's crazy. <laughs> The punk turtle set is a box of four, so you it's an instant to get it. Yeah, but just for hands, when I have, if I'm gonna get the, the pizza club, they don't. It don't, doesn't come with that many accessories. Like, like is it not only... supposed to be their ultimate version? That there's I know it doesn't one... have Mikey's spinning chucks. Yeah, there's only like one pair of extra hands in there. They don't come with facial expressions either, which yeah, is a bummer. There's, there's only like one face sculpt in there. But they're cross compatible with the expressions on on the, the punk, punk turtles mm-hmm. because they they match the colors on that one. Like it yeah. doesn't it doesn't work for the dis, uh, disguise pack because the Are disguise pack is it's a it's a lighter green mm-hmm. and it's glossy for most mm-hmm. of them. Damn. I, know. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I was hoping it would have everything. I was too. But I, it's hard for me to say no. You buy You're... everything. Do you ever say no? He never says no. No. <laughs> <laughs> too, no. Say it. too loud. Too loud. Uh, MC says... When you called out the raffle names, I think a microphone or a megaphone would be cool as possible yeah. suggestion. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. And I'm probably just going to do one giveaway near the end um, not instead of in intervals. Thank you for that feedback. Uh, that's, that's a good idea. Or like yeah. door prizes. Like just randomly, like when people sign in. Just Congratulations. Like that number of whatever. Just be like, really? oh, here's the thing. Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. It's at the beginning. Yeah, like a, a random person that walks in. Like if you have two hundred wristbands, it's like every fifty or seventy five is like a door prize, and it's just whoever shows up to get that wrist. Like because you don't know the order that people are coming in, and right. you're getting them at the start. It's just a fun way to kick it off. That's true, but then what if they're like, "Oh, I got something. I don't need to buy stuff," and then uh... no, they're more likely to buy stuff then. Yeah. Oh, because they save money. money. Yep. They're like, I'm up. So yeah. I'm gonna go spend more. Dude, this thing is so cool. Mario, you need to get this. You're hey Kev, you were playing with uh the fireman piece. So then I yeah. picked up mine. And has any this is like freaking me out. Has anyone <laughs> what realized this? So if yeah. you have the fire stick, you have fireman, right? Data, Mega Man, Fireman, the the piece that goes on the little stand, right? Mm-hmm. So stand it up so it's like the port on the bottom and if you just look at it from the side and rotate it it looks like howard the duck like machu what? if you have it there oh i see it, it there's I, like I, lips. I, I, oh there's okay. a nose there's two eyes and there's like a brow it is like uncanny oh i see it now i it's like it. It. Wait, on, the, on the back part yeah like on the tail yeah. part so like on the side you can kind of see it here right yeah it's you a, can see it on the silhouette there. of howard the duck and then if you, but then it works. You keep rotating it, and then it even kind of looks like it head on too. And then it works from the other side too. It's crazy. Machu, what the? Repaint that, that as Howard the Duck. How did you see you that? Can do it. You, see it? you can paint. I was just looking at it from the side, and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of weird." And then I was like, "Wait a minute." I, I see, see something yeah. in that. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah. Pretty, that's pretty fun. I don't that's know. I don't gross. know if other people have pro- have might have called that out before, but I just I found that was interesting. I don't think anyone looked at the flame effect that closely. <laughs> oh, I can't unsee it now. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like it's it's a little bit lighter in color, too, for that one specific part. I think we need to go ask June. He's like, ah, oh, you found me. <laughs> He's like, I've been a lifelong Howard the Duck fan. 
and <laughs> this is my way to get it into the line. Dude, he's going to get a cease and desist now from Marvel. <laughs> You're ruined. No, no trouble. <laughs> no trouble. <laughs> from Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, dude, great. Oh, my gosh. Are you going to open Bison? I'm still playing with this. I'm going to try yeah. and... Does this look silly? Just to stand on one foot? <laughs> Oh, no, does that in game? I think when he jumps. Does this look silly? Well, that looks is awesome. That a pizza dough that landed on his head. Yep, that's what that dude. Is, that right? might be worth it just for that accessory. That looks great. <laughs> I like the expression. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Oh yeah, but also yeah, Polly. Polly had a huge lineup the whole way through. Um, mm -hmm. I want to thank him and, and Anna. I know they're going to watch this later on the replay. But it was, it was a nice lineup for for everybody. I think every I think everyone all the guests had fun. Does that thing bend, or it's just upper? No, it it's rotation soft, soft plastic. So you got articulation. <laughs> that's, that's what she does anyway <laughs> but you know what man here's the thing the sculpt and the uh the paint on this looks great dude i don't know dk you might want to get these if you're a final fantasy I, 7 I, fan i want cloud i want the uh, did they release images of sephiroth yet i can't yeah remember. yeah they released uh images of of the main characters yeah i think at, at least i gotta get cloud and sephiroth yo is also great do we didn't talk about this because it was such a low key moment. Do you remember we like we got into an elevator in Niagara Falls and it's the six of us in oh, this man. elevator, right? <laughs> Me, uh, my wife, Joyce, and these four. And we cram into this elevator <clears throat> and there's like another family to our left and the door is about to close. And then um, someone stops it. Right. And the tell like, stop me if I'm telling this wrong. Uh, like a hand stops the door and it reopens and there's a family uh like a husband wife and like a small child and then they see how packed this elevator is and the guy looks at us mario what does he say to his wife he looks at us and he realizes there's only room for one and he looks back at his son and says you go with mama and then just <laughs> hops in with us and i immediately just look at kev and he's trying to hold. Even Ryan is chuckling over there. I was chuckling too. Everybody, Everybody was, was chuckling, chuckling. Dude. dude, women and children first. Nope. Nope. God, on this guy's dime. Not on like that dude on the Titanic. <laughs> dude, he he's was Costanza. Like... He's pushing people out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, he went down one floor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, he went yes. down one floor. It was one floor. Maybe he looked at us. He was like, "Oh my god." Is that the, enab the enablers? <laughs> <laughs> and then he he had like a toy to get us to autograph, but it was yeah. just a box, and yeah, he was that embarrassed. He just to... out. Yeah, yeah. What the hell, I, dude? I I, I don't think about that because I was looking right at. The, I was facing the. Was I in the back? Yeah, yeah. I think I was in the very back, and I'm just. I couldn't believe it, especially with like my wife standing next to me. I'm just like, man, if I ever did that shit. He, he, he could have taken the kid. He could have mm -hmm. been like to the wife, you go and I'll walk with the kid down the stairs. One flight of stairs. <laughs> yeah. He's stairs, like, yeah, you, yeah. Uh, you go with mama. <laughs> go with mama. <laughs> Man was in a rush. <laughs> I, I don't know what he was in a hurry for. <laughs> so I, but I, I was standing to the far left of the right. elevator. I smushed in like by the, by the buttons. So I, I was there for that interaction and I saw the guy get on, but I couldn't see who he was talking to. So oh, my memory right. of this is just my imagination mm -hmm. of you guys describing it. So I am like uniquely experiencing this because yeah. I didn't see it. I just heard it. You were there, but you didn't see it. Yeah. I didn't see like the expressions on his family's face or, or whatnot, or if they even cared or kind of like, so no, they were like, I, you saw, you saw Kevin losing it though. Right. I yeah. think the the wife looked like she was used to that kind of behavior. <laughs> like he does it all the time. 
but Ryan, I know you were standing on the other left side in front of the buttons, so you couldn't see out the doorway. You all you could see was like for whatever reason, all five of us laughing, and then this guy just get on the elevator. Yeah, but that's I'm not even embellishing anything. He was like, "You, uh, you go with Mama," and he he just got on. It he was... didn't even say it like nicely either. When when he said it, what it was, was the mood like? It, it it was it was pretty rude the way he said it. Yeah. Very, a little threatening, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan, would you come back? Ethan one two three P says, please do another show. I missed it because of school. I'd love to meet Ryan Ting in person. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I've got to. It's the premier. Uh, what was the area called again? Thornhill. 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 <laughs> Thornhill. I was gonna say Mark Markham. Yeah, that's Markham part of close. Yeah. Close. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll claim that. I'll claim yeah. the premiere toy show in Markham. Yeah. So let's do it. How can you not? <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a destination event, dude. Yeah. They uh, brought out the National Guard. Declared I'm going to uh, have them play the National <laughs> Anthem. Yeah, yeah, national yeah, national Anthem. anthem. We'll stand. Both national anthems, right? We'll stand. Yeah. We'll stand. Now you guys know. Yeah. Or they're not going to let you in. Watch. We stand for the wrong thing, Machu. I know, right? Why'd deal. you guys stand for that? <laughs> that what are you guys doing? That was just the uh pu the public announcement music. Yeah. D Sturtle says maybe he had some expired milk and he had to go to the bathroom <laughs> ASAP. Oh yeah. I, 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 I yes, show. probably that's what he had to do. I want to do the show again. I want to do it again next year, hopefully at the same time. Um obviously I've been taking feedback from everybody and I'm gonna make changes improvements where necessary and where it's possible and um why why not do it again um you, you know i think i have more guests in mind that we could we could have there so let's do it yeah right we we know we, we know where it's lacking and where we can uh, do better dk i think yeah. this time around though you should probably invite yoko I did it. I invited the entire enablers. I went into the group chat and I said, Hey, everybody, I'm having this event. Uh, I know it's it's a journey, but please come if you can. And are you, uh, you, you going to keep it to the same date, like weekend ish? Birthday? Yeah, like on like the date, close to your the birthday. date that I was born. Um, I don't, I don't know because next year is. Um, Next year, April is Star Wars Celebration. Uh, is it around the beginning of April? I don't know. Could there we you do go. something May? with the Star Wars Celebration? I'm sorry, say that again? Can we do something with the Star Wars Celebration? The Star Wars Celebration is in Japan. Oh, and you're going to Japan. Uh, I mean, either way, there, if I don't go, there are people who are going that might not, you know, friends that might not be able to... to to join but i i want to go to star wars celebration in japan that'd be cool uh, also yeah it's, it's it's around like wrestlemania time is I'm is wrestlemania time. always that weekend it's it's usually around that time ryan did you get to see watch wrestlemania yeah so <laughs> we both had different ways of yeah, doing we, it <laughs> so the wrestlemania was a two-night event right and we went to the podcast on saturday night we got back late and then when Macho and I talked about it the next day, we both learned that Peacock streaming service is not available in Canada. And so that's how we were, would have watched it in the States. And so we each found different ways to pay to, to <laughs> we watch paid the same amount too. Yeah. So I, I ended up just finding whatever uh, this Canadian sports subscription package that that has that carries the <laughs> wwe and so i bought a month of that for like 15 bucks and machu had another way yeah i bought you a still have a few weeks i know i need to cancel it i said a reminder on my phone to cancel <laughs> it I, I might actually keep the vpn though vpn because useful. i can use it to watch like other shows that are not in the u.s yeah like from different streaming services like uh what was it that european new... netflix well, Best in miniature. Dis Wait, we can watch Best in Miniature finally. I watch yeah. yeah, I can finally watch that. And go. then, like on Disney Plus, I was watching that, and I was starting to watch that. Uh, uh, it was an anime for like Power Rangers, but they're like not Power Rangers. Oh, Loser Rangers or something. Yes. Like that? Yeah, yeah, Mighty 
was it Mighty Morphin Loser Loser Raid Rangers or something like is Go Go out? Loser Rangers? Go Go Loser, yeah, Go Go. Yeah, I think it it is out. Uh, I was starting to watch the first episode. It's it was Netflix. on Disney Plus Disney. when I was really what? Yeah, I was using Disney Plus from Canada to watch the first episode. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I thought it was on. Plus. I thought it was Netflix. I thought it I mean, was I Netflix. Check on Netflix. Hmm. Everyone's you, checking their apps. DK, yeah. can you check it? Thanks. You can watch um, Godzilla minus one come early May, um, in with VPN for in Japan, like oh nice VPN to Japan for I think it's is it Amazon that's having it? I can't remember. I got to look that up again. But one of the if, streaming services will have it. Yeah. If you're watching think, in Japan, do they have English subs? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's I don't quite know. a gamble. I'm gonna pay like know. the whole month, and I have no idea. I have to message Yoko every every scene to be like, "Can you <laughs> translate this for me?" You still haven't seen it? No, I haven't. I'm. I want I to see it in it. theater, it's and so uh, I didn't have time to. I heard mm. it's amazing. I'm not a Godzilla guy, and I just found out DK was recently, so I I didn't know that I needed to go see it in theater. And by mm. the time um, I had time, it was too late. It would have been it's, it, okay. You know what? Maybe I will adjust it for WrestleMania weekend, and I got a plan for celebration too. Celebration is April eighteenth to twenty eighth. Should we do it then? April seventh is that WrestleMania weekend? It probably. I, I mean, it moves around, so it could be that weekend. Could not. I don't know. When, when would you know by? Because here's here's what I learned, mm -hmm. and. I, it was like five weeks before April 7th. And I'm like, I, ha I had like a year to plan. Yeah. And it was five weeks before the date. I'm like, you know what? I think I will do this. I wonder if it's possible. And I was able to plan everything that I could in five weeks. But um, in terms of some of the people I wanted to invite, I realized uh, some actual businesses and uh, people who are good at scheduling usually plan out their whole their businesses whole years worth of cons and things like that so to to put something together in in that time um the mm -hmm. fact that you know uh some of some of the other businesses and companies that came out um that was great but if if i start earlier like we could have we could have had even more yeah. mm -hmm. so that's what i need to do uh get the invites out earlier right for for toy companies sorry dk was that not good no, 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 no. It's just, this toy just keeps like falling apart. <laughs> Do you want my Dalsim arms? No. Like, like is this. it supposed to? Nah, it's just yeah. it was a bad QC, bad design. Uh, I heard a lot of people complaining about it. The torso already like popped off on me. Yeah, man. The, the SHF one piece is the, just for this figure, though. Like, yeah, Sanji's great. Sanji was solid. You know, Luffy's solid. It's just Sanji. this figure is just poorly designed. Sanji? Yes. I need to open these jelly beans. I'm hungry. Yeah. Looks good. Ryan, you didn't end up buying anything at the, the con, right? No, not for myself. I got some souvenirs for the fam. Um I don't know where that I don't know where it is or I'd show it. Do I have it? <laughs> Oh, I thought you like you. I don't know where it is. I didn't give it to them yet, dude. No, but uh, Jason Jason Lapidus did an awesome sketch for me, which I don't know where it is at the moment. But that was a really cool. He did a rogue uh, yeah. sketch for me. Yeah, he's a nice guy. All right, check out these Japanese jelly beans, guys. Kevin, didn't you also get like a really cool art piece too? Which one are you referring to? I explain one. No. Didn't you get a cool like poster or like a print from? I, I forgot his who. name. I'm, I'm not trying to. Yeah. Are, are you hinting at something? I don't, don't, don't want to mess up on. his name. I'll put it in the private chat. We met him. Carl introduced us to him. Yeah. Oh, from Mike. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got a print from him. It's upstairs. It's upstairs. Okay. Sick. Yeah, I'm like, because I had another print there, and I just couldn't remember. Yeah, I got, I got uh, Mike's. Mike's a really, really great artist, Mike Del Mundo. Um, 
he he's a local friend and uh, he had a table there too and i want to expand it more like artists and and more comic creators look at this look at this box the tab opens with a little thing so you can pour jelly beans out at a controlled rate <laughs> and then control rate what rate so they're not just all spilling out controlled rate when eating jelly beans what I mean, I'm sorry, you're just supposed to just put them up in the air, open your mouth, and tilt. That's it. Yeah, it's it. That's <laughs> a controlled rate. Yeah. John Carr, one of those guys' eyebrows just fell in the bowl of jelly beans. So good. Russell Development, thank you for that callback. Um, wow, these are amazing. You guys can sit here and watch me eat jelly beans. Open something. I've, I've been opening. Everything. I open wrap. I'm gonna open. Oh, he's potatoing, dude. I am. It's really pissing me off. Everyone else is potatoing except for me. Well, that joke went so far that Machu. We what? went to Toys R Us and we hunted for. Also, the potato heads were in a box. Yeah. So it's not like it was this one where it was just the outside of the potato, as the packaging. But anyway, you spent how much money on um. On this joke, too much. <laughs> That's the correct at, answer. At Toys R Us prices, so that yeah. is yeah, quite a lot. So um, I got the regular potato head, and then I was showing Mario. I was like, "Oh, there's the family here." So it's the father, the kid, and the and the wife. But like, it's got the perfect hair, like Mario's perfect. It had before he got had, the haircut. It had it had like some swoop. Yeah. So like the left. Not this, not this haircut. Put that hat back on, dude. Put it back on. Yeah. Put the hat back on. That's a good hat. Shout out to Chamba. Chamba's oh, figure reports here. What's up, Mikey? Dude, Mikey, I, th I wish you could have um another Mikey that I wished uh came to hang out that weekend. Yeah. Would have been you awesome. came out. Dude, that saber tooth is great. I got that at the uh at the toy show. Oh yeah, did you? I did. That's cool. That's great. <laughs> Was that Kev's? I'm sensing a little something from him, but That's, look at these jelly beans. These are these are so good. These jelly beans from Japan. What are the flavors? Um, I'm gonna go with my knowledge of Japanese and say, um, apple, mango, grape. And purple gray. potato. Uh, that's ube. The second one is durian. And uh, do you guys have durian? And when I say you guys, I mean you people. <laughs> like your people. Do you guys have durian? No, man. We got rocks and berries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DK. Sorry. That's bones, actually. Uh, Whoa, that's even worse. Uh, Loki Loki says yes. I've never had durian. I've never had Mello, CJ. Here, look, all of um, all of all of your countrymen in the chat. I almost said your people. <laughs> Do you guys like Pomelo? Is awesome. Grows right outside the caves. Just, just how to reach. Out of reach. That's why I use the sticks. Too short. <laughs> hey, we're all five six. Except for Mario, he's half. No. Mario, because he's mixed in with some tall others. <laughs> Miscellaneous. <laughs> Other. That's I can't do that. I'm going to finish this whole box. Poiful. Yeah, can you open heavy. bison? Stop stuffing oh, your face, please. These are so good. All right, all right, all right, okay. What is hollow hollow? Why don't you open that bison at a controlled rate? Let's go. I was, okay, that's <laughs> that's pretty good. Thank you. It's like shaped shaped ice with like different ingredients. Like I I don't know how to explain that because it's they're different from depending on the person. It's flavored like, ice. What do you mean they're different from the person? Like. You can put whatever you want in it, basically. It's it's a, it's a mix. 
like me. Look, his, country like of, his country of origin is like Mario too, unknown. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Psycho power. That's also accurate. And your Urspungschlan is Unbekant. That's pretty Kampfschl. good. Phil. Party wagon. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. what? Psycho power is party wagon? I can't. I can't be. That can't be right. Is that? What What would it be? Like, what car does he drive? Party wagon? That wouldn't make sense. I'll figure a port. Look at this. This packaging is so. This packaging and and the um, the Chester packaging, top notch. Attention to detail. I don't know, but I think that the torso on these turtles have a little more range. Compare. Do you have the other ones uh, on hand? I have to get it. Am I still potatoing? Because then I'll reset my my router while I go get the other. Oh, that's turtles. awful. Slight. Yeah. Potato, like mashed potato. No. Or baked a potato. Baked, baked potato. A little baked. All right. All right, I'll be right back. Then give me. Oh, yeah. It's it really is unfair that Ma Mario got stuck with that nickname. But hey, you know if it works, it works. The chat loves it. You love it. I don't love it. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, DK, we're all proud of you. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. I, it. Awesome. It. I was looking all over for it. But this is from Jason. So thank you, Jason. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That is my friend Jason Lapidus. Art? Is it art? There you go. Let me see if I can share this. Uh, local collector, a friend. His same birthday as me. He's a comic book artist uh, for his comic group of seven. Oh, there you go. Thanks. He's a little bit of a shit talker, too. <laughs> I, I said hi to him, and he's like, oh, they let you back in? Uh, I already <laughs> he heard is. That one. But he's, he's, uh, it, it's sharp, sharp comments, but they're, uh, kind of, kind of witty, too. I, the I like delivery is always on point. He's a funny guy. I like that guy. guy. Oh, funny yeah, guy. I, should, I guess I should like this. He does like the um, Inktober every year. I think he does 31 Days of Batman sketches. Uh, really talented dude. Mm -hmm. Got two comics going on. I think he went to a comics uh, festival in France last year, late last year. Look at this stuff. Yeah, this is Inktober stuff. The yeah, Batman Beyond is great. Like Catwoman Thirst Trap. Look at this what? one. She eating hollow hollow. How cool is this? I think That's you cool. know what you see this comment here. I think Richie ended up buying this. Did he really? Yeah, I have this. Um, this is like a 10, 12 inch soft goods first appearance Batman in the back. Um, I think I have this Robin too, and this Batman figure, or the Batman in the bl all black suit. These actual figures. Yeah, Jason's awesome. He sells prints too. If you need some uh, commissions or just really great, great sketches, Jason Lapidus Art on Instagram. Amazing. Oh, I was like, who are you missing? Matthew's resetting. Matthew wants to reset. James Hallis says the Jada Capcom line creates another, <coughs> excuse me, Marvel Legends team to complete with MVC. Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Well, that cable coming out is going to be, yeah, have part to of this, right? Table. Ryan, do you have you eaten durian? I have not. I have not no. Is there durian in your household ever? No, but when we go to Taiwan, we've been to Taiwan a couple of times. They have it at various places. But Janie's not a big fan, so therefore I, no, no pressure on me to do dodge, it. dodge that bullet. Yeah. What did I say? Like after after you left, I'm like, oh no, we were in the car. I'm like, do you like Thai food? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, and it was a very calculated response because you you took a second. And you're like, and you didn't, I don't think you even looked directly at me. You're like, you looked at the seat in front of you. you went not particularly. 
No. <laughs> Where were we? I, on our way to. Uh... No, it was the Uber on the way home after. After the bar. Or was it in Bearded's car? Maybe it was Bearded's car. I can't remember. MC says, Ryan, do you like Filipino food? Don't know much about it, so can't can't say. It's a yes. Lumpia, man. They're great. I think a fried spring roll from any Asian culture is good. Is that safe to say? Mm-hmm. Is that a generalization? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got the uh, little slit in the back for the cape too. Yeah, but How you don't want to get least... that in there. What's it called? Is it vac mold? Yeah, it's vac molded. But do they mm-hmm. feed the cape through the sheet of plastic and then they put it into the mold to shape it? Isn't that weird? Okay, cool. Are you I sure, DK? I'm pretty sure it is. All right. Let's let's see this thing. But at least it's not like usually if you have a plastic cape, it's kind of um, when when the plastic squeaks against the, yeah the oh, shell. I had to yeah I had to squeeze this guy's cape out of there. You be squeezing. I do. That's sick. I don't know where you're getting non-Asian spring rolls. Well, you know some other cultures try. Really. Asian inspired spring well. <laughs> okay. So it comes out of the box like like this. We can move the shoulder pads forward. How are they connected? There's a um, in the back. I think it there's a little tab here that goes between the arm and the oh. body. So it's it it's able to rotate in there with the arm. Oh genius. Right? But then there's separate shoulder pads. What is this one? It doesn't have the cape. Right. Don't don't lose the instructions. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. There are instructions for the there uh, are. shoulder pads. Uh, start from the back of the shoulder pad. Pull for pull towards the front to unclip it. Okay. Secure the shoulder pad at the front and then wicked. Damn, this looks really good. I think non Asian spring rolls are called chimichangas. <laughs> Who said that? Who said James Howlett? Nice, dude. These are all textured on the on the red areas. Oh yeah, I forgot. Reginald can't change his name for another what two weeks? He said. <laughs> that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> that's the I can't. That's the best byproduct. So, uh, when we did the live stream on Thursday, and Ryan, you weren't there. Uh, legendary poser was you know talking as usual trash talk, and um, I mispronounced his name when I said legendary i think i was like legendary and then i'm like oh reginald that sounds way too classy so as a joke he he changed his name to reginald l posier took it to the next level and um that was two weeks ago and um he hopped so on Machu, yesterday Matthew was on last night and he was in the chat and his name was still on youtube uh reginald l posier we're like oh he kept the name that's so funny he's like actually youtube doesn't let you change it uh, it only lets you change it once every two weeks. So, so he stu- was it two weeks. So he's stuck with yeah. that. Stupid- well, I don't think it's a stupid name. I think it's a great name. Oh my god, Keep dude! It. The t- the foot flap is part of the shoe. Oh, the ankles! Holy! Ow! And this is this is soft. This is just I like you get this figure. Yeah, you should get one. <laughs> Dude, they need me to pull some strings again. <laughs> where are you gonna Where are you gonna go? I I heard again. <laughs> Son of a gun! This cape gonna, is nice too. I'm gonna get some more drink. This is a really good cape. CJ, did you make this? 
All right. So I think they are the same mold. Yeah, they definitely are in the same mold. What you're talking? The the new turtle versus the disguise pack. I can't imagine they changed it yeah, the, much. I like the newer one. The colors are a little more bolder. Which one? This the newer is, one's on your, your right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, those colors, yeah, they're they're more saturated. Mm -hmm. Your left hand's a little more de muted, desaturated. And it's glossy. Like this one's matte and this one's glossy. Yeah. But that's the only face that the new one comes with? Yeah, this this is the only face that it comes with. But it still uses the same tech where you could change the lower half of the face mm -hmm. with the upper half. That's why, like, if you buy the punk pack, you have all those other expressions to go along with your turtles and hands. It's going to be a tough decision. I don't know if I can get two sets of turtles. I was only supposed to get one. I really thought like it was the ultimate set where you don't have to buy any turtles ever again. Dude, and, I thought the same and thing. And they gave you everything. Because like that's that's, that's kind of like what I thought it was from San Diego last year. Did we just assume? I think we just assumed. <laughs> we just made it up. One of us said it, and then we just kept rolling with it. It's not like I interviewed Blaine at the <laughs> at the booth at two different occasions. What did we assume? That the Pizza Club Turtles would have everything. They come with like a lot of accessories. It's just like not the extra hands and not the extra faces that a lot of people would want. But wait, you know? No, but I remember hearing the term like these are going to be the ultimate turtles. That's Is, is it uh, just something someone said and we went with it? I, thought, I don't want to put words in my mouth. I thought Blaine said it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Let's check the tapes. Maybe something changed. But yeah. The line work is cleaner too, I noticed. It looks great, but dude, this is soft here. So it's like it gets up there. Damn. And dude, look at this cape. Isn't this can you is put there on a the... bit of green? It looks good. It looks very clean. Can you put like... on the other shoulder pads? I want to see what that looks like. Uh oh. Looks uh, like he can do that sliding pose like perfectly. Uh oh. Oh, I did oh. it. Nice. Oh, they just clip on. Okay. Yeah. A lot easier than easy peasy. Huh, Ryan. And uh, oh, they're indicated left and right here. Yeah. Yeah, but figures left or your left? Oh, shit. Front to back, Kev. Yeah. That's how you wipe. That doesn't look right. Or is it figures? No, the instruction said front and then clip it back. Yeah. And then you should hear it. I'm just trying to clip it. Am I still in frame on the camera? Yep. Yeah, yep. Damn it. I was hoping you guys wouldn't see this. All right, let's try this side. Okay, that one's good. Did this it click? One. I will. I will say though that if you like mess around with the butterfly joints, there you go. it will shoot out. Like it'll unclip itself and shoot out. So be careful with that. What does he look like sitting in the super action stuff chair? The full. <laughs> All right. Well played. Very well played. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It was really delayed. <laughs> it was really delayed. There you go. That's cool. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I don't think mine's clipping well on this side, but the other one is fine. Oh, that might be it. Oh, there you, there go. you go. Oh, man. That looks great. Jeez. Figure the year. <laughs> top top 10? I don't know. Dude, my top 10 is like no, l littered with um X-Men 97. 
Do you have every X Men ninety seven fig now, Kev? I do not. Who are you missing? Goblin Queen and Rogue. Ooh. KJ Smith says it's Modoc all over again. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take offense to that. That was a, a while back, and I appreciate that you're still watching uh, this channel. So you know what? I'm going to take the the upside of that and uh, and give it a positive spin. Dude, that'd I be heard... great if, if KJ Smith was like, I didn't watch it. I just heard it from other people. I just heard people talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See, there you go. Oh. Hmm. What I miss? I was looking away. It popped, no, it it popped, popped away. Off in this. Uh, so I think when you when you put the butterfly back, it presses it, the yeah. top uh, against the the back and comes off. Mm. I'm sure that's fixable. Yeah, I, I learned th I learned that when it popped out and hit the other eye. <laughs> Dude, this looks so good. And with the soft goods cape, I think definitely top ten. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh my god. Who's next? It's Guile, Cami, DJ, and DJ. Okay, that's a that's good wave. What, that's a I'm really one, looking forward to getting a Guile figure though, because yeah. Do you guys want to speculate what the exclusives may be for SDCC? I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly know. gonna I'm gonna buy anything at this point. Who in the chat is going to SDCC? Because there's a lot of planning that's been going on this week. Uh, I know Machu, mm -hmm. Mario, Ryan's going to be there for work. And also going to go to Bad Friends Pod with us when it's out there. <laughs> no, Ryan gets, Ryan gets to choose the podcast this time. <laughs> Are there any? Do you listen to any comedy podcasts, Ryan? I don't think so. I used to listen to many years ago. I used to listen to Adam Carolla podcast religiously, but this was like ten years ago. Over, like, yeah, like ten years ago, longer. Nice. It's mostly just uh, basketball and some wrestling and Magic the Gathering podcasts. Those are the those are the subject matters nowadays. That's an awesome, awesome uh, trio. Yeah. So if you guys want to go to a live Magic the Gathering podcast, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I, would, it's, it's, I it's think it's only fair that we do. Yeah. No, there's, you know what? I'm down. There's 100% less butts being shown. <laughs> no, I don't know. Fair. I heard those magic old. Yeah, wild. Oh, man. I was going to say we should go to a wrestling show. Actually, you know what? I would love to do that. I've never been. I will stand for all national anthems while there. You got to stand for the the entrance themes. Yeah, so all entrance the entrance themes. themes. Yeah. I I only watch and the cheer. ACBA and toy toy YouTuber wrestling matches on Punchy's channel. Yeah. He's he's doing a good job with that. Mhm. Mm uh, Dom says he's going to SDCC. RMD obviously is already out there, so he's going to be there. Roboto says I'm local, so I'll be there, hoping to meet everyone over some drinks. I, I can't drink anymore. Last time was bad. Um, what do you mean? Yeah. You're fine. You're good, dude. I I did that podcast. I did, oh, very funny. Did that panel the next day, and I almost I couldn't hold it in. Uh, I heard the MTG crowd goes wild after hours. Ryan. What are you not preparing us for? Is this true? I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the Bill Murray? It says, which magic podcast, Ryan, Limited Resources? Limited Resources is amongst the best. I also like uh, Lords of Limited. Limited is a format where you get packs of random cards and you just play with those so you don't build a deck in advance it's Whoa. just another way to uh to play and uh, so yeah limited so you, you you just pick one pack or several packs and just use what you get there 
there's you you can like booster draft, which is you get like eight people, and then each has three packs, and then everyone opens a pack, and you take one card and then you pass it to the person next to you, basically, and you do right. that one at a time, and then at at the end you have enough cards with which to make a playable deck. So that's the most common mm. way to Whoa. do it. I'd say that sounds crazy. It's like freestyle. Ryan, is that something that we could play, like having never played? Or is it like it takes way too long to like learn the game and learn the rules? <laughs> He's like, you guys? Once you yeah, learn how to guy. play, it's it's uh not that hard, but it's for, for new people, it's probably easier to do like the sealed deck version of limited, which is you get six packs and you just open all of them and then that's your so you don't spend time drafting with other people, you just build your mm -hmm. own deck from from that pool how right. long does a game usually last the, the game matches are usually like two out of three games uh and each game could be could just a few minutes or it could go on for a long time it depends depends it on sounds that. like content kev i think we should do this at sdcc instead of basketball <laughs> you dude you're trying to get out of basketball you're like i might have a chance at magic <laughs> I want to hear Mario's Magic the Gathering tr uh, trash talk, though. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. the next, Can you imagine? next level. <laughs> what is he going to come up with? I mean, like, what did what you pull? Uh, I don't even know the names of characters, but just talk about those cards. Oh, nice. I love that business suit. <laughs> it's so See, stupid. It's that so scene stupid. is insane. <laughs> I. I I originally didn't want it, and then Mario was like, "You gotta, you gotta get it." He's in a suit. Why does he sound I do, like that? I do want the the foot soldier though, because it's cool that it's like cut in oh, half. Man. Oh, the split one. That reminds me of that NECA Terminator that had the split um, T one thousand head. T two thousand. What what's what? the joke, dude? Why don't they make a four pack army it's builder insane. of foot soldiers? <laughs> I don't know. That's what they should do. I'm asking you, Machi, directly. You should. You should make. I don't. Happen. I don't talk to Neca. I thought you have some connections. Make some calls. Yeah, I thought you were gonna pull strings. For call some strings. Call some strings for your to get you Dal Sim and Bison, because you're being all sad. Everybody has one but me. All right, pull some strings for me. Let's see what happens. Yeah, do a pity pull. A pity pull. <laughs> oh my God! I. Ugh. It's not an enabler episode. We'll leave that one alone. Dude, look at the look at the poses you can get him in. It's, it's really dynamic. It's really good. Oh, Do you have the SHF bison? Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't have any SHF Street Fighter. Does he it come with a different head? Yeah, it comes yeah, with two comes, heads. Comes with two heads. Oh, sick. So two heads. All right. Um, it is. I, have, I still have a lot of stuff to open, so we're gonna go for. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer. Anyone um, down to stick around some more, or anyone need to leave soon? I can uh, give you a nice seamless segue to. Uh, yeah. Thank on you. Out. Thank you for that, Kevin. I'm going to uh, call the night here, but it was it was awesome hanging out with you guys a couple of weeks ago, and uh, can't wait to do it again. And congrats on the the con, man. It, I think it went really well. You sold out of all your wristbands, and and everyone who went had a great time. And so I'm just happy that it all worked out. Thank you, thank you for coming out, man. Um, and should we do a jump hug before you leave? Sure. <laughs> I know. Yeah. This, this yeah. looks weird when we're all just bouncing in our seats. Um, yeah, Ryan, thank you. Thank you for uh hanging out and coming up. That was um was a lot of fun. I'm glad we didn't scare scare you away scare with you that away. podcast. <laughs> like no. he's not gonna show. It was great. It was great reminiscing <laughs> about From everything two weeks tonight. ago. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, cool, man. Thank you. Go uh yeah, take care of business. All Thanks, right. Ryan. Good Take night, guys. Care. See Ryan. you later. Yeah. Bye. Should open those NBA figures while he was here. I got you. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw. Did I did I mention this yet? 
Sick. I like, did um, Gotham City tonight uh, on their channel last night with Ryan. Oh, Ryan you, didn't it. you didn't mention it. Um, he, so he has his channel, and they talk. It's Gotham City tonight. They usually talk about Batman stuff. I think that was the the idea when they started it, but um, they they get on a lot of topics too. Um, Ryan Dole from you know YHS, and he has his co-host Alice. Um, and Alex, who is fan plastic for uh, from Mondo, so it's really cool. And um, when X Men ninety seven started, it, it was so good that I'm like, dude, I I, I want to talk about this. I don't want to start another. I don't want to start another live stream and recap show. It's just too many responsibilities. But I needed to talk to somebody about it. And uh, so Ryan Dole invited me on. I've been on for like three three episodes talking. Are you eating Uncrustables? What is it? Anyway, um, he invited me on for a few episodes just so we can talk about uh, how how good X-Men 97 is. And then last night, he had a really cool guest on. He had on um, the voice of Gambit from nice. X-Men 97. Um, so we, got, we, we were chatting, you know, about... Uh, his work on on X Men ninety seven and the the reception and reaction from all the fans and I probably should have talked about this when Ryan was here. Uh, but <laughs> did I did I mention it to him beforehand? I don't even remember. Yeah, we talked about it in the green room. Yeah, I remember one time in Toronto, I was telling Ryan something. He's like, "You already said this," <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh yeah, I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. Can't remember." But yeah, it was it was on last night, and he's like um he's like a toy sculptor. He does his own designs and stuff, and he's just talking about, um, you know, he used to be like a Gambit cosplayer when he was younger, and That's he was cool. doing a lot of voices, and then eventually got the job of voicing Gambit, and then you know, and, and the funniest thing he said last night was, you know, everyone's always telling me like, oh, you, you know, how could you do this to me, uh, in this episode, and everyone's shouting at me how how they felt. He's like, how come no one ever asked me how I feel? <laughs> and we all started laughing. We're like, oh shit, that's that's a good question. Because you know, he got his role. And then um DK, wait, are DK, are you up to date? I know what happens. The internet has spoiled everything already. So okay. Well, that's kind of on your fault, fault, DK. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. Oh, I expected more of a fight there. But what, um, yeah, it was a, what are you? Yeah, what are you eating? It's a PB. That's he what I just said. asked you. I was ashamed. I, I lied. Why would you be ashamed? You found it hovering in the garbage like an angel. <laughs> Adjacent <laughs> to refuge is trash. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. um, Yeah. What the hell was I saying? The gambit thing. Yeah. He's like, how come no one ever asked me how I'm feeling? I thought that was like really funny lines. We're like, are you okay? <laughs> was he feeling was like, okay or was he... I think, really I, I think he was like it, it, he's been sitting on that information for so long right mm -hmm. because the show was supposed to be out maybe last year and I and what he said was they told him I think right away like hey you know you, you got the gig but here's what's gonna happen do you I, when I was growing up watching X-Men the animated series like Gambit was always a fan favorite but I feel was he? like I it was, I'm trying to remember. Was he? I felt like he was, but I mean, he obviously was. he is now. Yeah. But do you guys remember him being a fan favorite, or was he kind of just uh, in the back? No, he was a fan favorite, yeah, right? Fan. Yeah, everyone loved. He was. It was like Wolverine and Gambit, or sometimes it was even more Gambit it was more popular than Wolverine. Mm -hmm. I feel I like he was more when, prominent in in. I remember when they. They added him to it, might have been the X Men game for Genesis, the second one. I'm like, oh, Gambit's in this one. Oh, sick. Or maybe I'm misremembering, but he was always one of my favorites. I, I don't know why. Why are they used? It seems like they're using Wolverine a lot less in this show. Yeah, like I he, think he is not a main. They main don't want to, maybe they don't want to lean on Wolverine because Wolverine is always going to be. Um, yeah, favorite, you know, like has he been getting too much attention since the show, like in the movies, and you know oh, he yeah. has his own series, the the popularity of the character in comics that like they're giving him 
uh, you know, a bit of the a backseat. Backseat. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. I think it's it's less of a backseat and more of like giving the others a little more time to shine. The that's other a good way to look at it. I think, I think that's backseat. That's called a backseat. Yeah. They, they, the other people are getting the front seat. I mean, there's not that many front seats, but. I mean, he he did. I mean, he, he wasn't was like, even in the front seat in in the. Yeah, in that's the, what I'm saying. Too. He never he never that's did. That's why he's not. <laughs> he never like kicked ass except for when he was fighting Sentinels, right? Yeah. And I can understand why. Kids show he can't be like slicing and dicing people and stuff, yeah. right? He did have that one cool part in episode one or two where they threw him at Master Mold and he had the charge claws, and I was like, all right, that's cool. But yeah, that, he, he hasn't done shit. He bounced. Yeah, he, that was the fight, and then the fight in the mansion with um, with those weird, with the weird creatures that came out of uh, Goblin Queen's powers or sinister and stuff, the hell, the hell like demons. <laughs> when when uh, who is it? Uh, Beast is asking for help, and Wolverine is just in the middle of fighting. And Bishop just grabs him by the scruff and like, yeah, yeah, throws yeah. him at Beast. He's, yeah, he's just an object. I like I like <laughs> they changed the fastball special. They threw him uh, in that Sentinel fight, and he bounced off Morph, who was the blob, right? Yeah, and that, that was a new thing. But yeah, in in that demon fight, he was he just got thrown, and they threw no, they throw Beast at him, or they threw him at they throw him at Beast. Yeah, and he's he like, I need some help. <laughs> he's like, you smell like burnt fur. Um, I, th oh, I think he's gonna have a big moment. In, yeah. in is it coming up? There, yeah. There's so much Wolverine stories to tell, right? So it's just, yeah, to match his point, just giving everybody else the front seat right now. Dude, I think his greatest um, moment, though, in this entire series is when uh, Jean Grey or Madeline <laughs> Pryor, whatever, is like, he's here. And he's like, yeah. oh, Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. That was that was good humor right there. Yeah, so M MC was at the show and he's like, I heard from Cal that when he does the voice, it's hard to maintain it. Oh. Uh, but I, I did say to Cal at the show, I'm like, dude, that line, the apocalypse line is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. That That is a rough voice. Because you just have to make it so gravelly. Raspy. Yeah. This is the dude. head that came with uh, Zorro. So it's like kind of like the shouting head for Luffy. The shouting I like face. I like when they include the extra faces. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, dude, did you guys watch uh either of you or anyone in the chat? Um kaiju kaiju number eight? No, but that's on the list. Been it's on the part. list. It's um, on the list because the figures look great. Right? Mm -hmm. Dude, I saw the figures, I saw the pre-orders, and I'm like what is this? And then the name looked familiar and I went to Crunchyroll and the first episode was there. Um, just one episode. But I, I want to watch more. Chamba and, and said it's really good. He uh, he read the manga. And he's Chamba's... like, yeah. He's like, the problem, I, the problem I have time with the... so many animes is like, if they have toys, I'm screwed. Oh, dude, this is exactly why I'm getting into the anime because the figures look good. Mm -hmm. and now, now I find myself hoping the anime is good. So mm -hmm. that I can justify buying the figures. Right. Yeah, didn't that happen with uh, Hell's Paradise? Mm, no, I think I did. You watch it first, it and then you got the first. figures. Okay. You guys watched it after after buying um, Uzuriha. Yeah, which mm -hmm. I still need to purchase. Oh, I still need to send that up to you. <laughs> so I, you were here. I don't get it. I didn't have space, man. Wait, Wait so let me ask you this, Kevin. Are you okay with like loose figs? Do you 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 don't mind? I don't have the box or anything. Yeah, I'm good. But if you're getting rid of it, yeah. All right. As long as you don't wait. Oh yeah, everyone knows you left your bag on the plane. Yeah, wait, we don't need to rehash that <laughs> from two weeks ago. Oh, dude, you know what? It it figures are more enjoyable when you have like a show to watch and. Shows are more enjoyable when you have figures to play with, dude. Oh, dude, yeah. since X Men '97 came out, not only have I been getting, I got Cyclops, which is fucking great, um, but I also busted out my Moffex figs. And dude, my coffee table 
is it's a problem a- right now. I got all my Moffex figs out there. I got the X Men ninety seven Legends out there. I'm running out of fingers. Fun. You can do it. Oh, dude, and Storm, bro, Storm has been fucking killing it. Her head sculpt is in- incredible. I love that Storm, and maybe potentially you think we might get another Storm. I don't have Nightcrawler. Um, dude, look at this. That's- I don't want to spoil it if this people Banff. haven't seen it. I well, I know, yeah, but I maybe a remake of that mm. figure. There were a lot of suits. There were a lot of uh, looks in episode six that we thankfully already have figures for. Yeah, let's just say that. How about that? And I think I was saying I was saying on live. I think that's the huge part of why I think ninety seven is going to be like like my favorite line this year because. Um, a, the show is so good, and we have it at the same time. I don't have to wait. Because usually if you wait, it's like another year, and you're like, oh, the hype for whatever mm-hmm. media has kind of died down. Like, no, this is yeah. this is happening now to right. the point where um, you know, you can't find you can't find a Wolverine anymore. It was supposed um, to come out earlier. Uh it's supposed to like because didn't the show was, yeah. Yeah. It got pushed back. Yeah, exactly. Cause I remember the first wave was just sitting in, in Target. Oh, this guy Wolverines. got like three or four Wolverines. I got four. I saw like seven. Yeah. Oh, I remember God. when you were hunting for those too. And I was like, but here's the thing. I wasn't hunting. I went out for coffee and I told and you I, to go pick it up. And I'm like, let me just go. And it was one of those like shitty targets that doesn't have anything. And I'm like, oh, Wolverine's here. I'm like, should I grab? He's like, yeah. And yeah. Then I'm like, well, let me go to this other target too just a whole peg full of them i'm like oh this is gonna be easy to find and now nowhere big mistake i know roboto says i like how it's not a wolverine and friends show i'm sure he'll pop up later yeah he's he's been sitting back on a lot of these missions like in episode five i mean i feel like they all should have gone onto the plane and headed headed over to genosha right away yeah dude not only is he like sitting back but like magneto's like all right wolverine you stay here with gene like, <laughs> yeah. bro, don't you know the history? Like, that's a bad idea. It's a test. I think it's a plan. <laughs> I think he's like, you know, I'm going to get with Rogue. I think. Oh, he's should. looking out for his boy. Yeah, because they're brothers in metal. Metalry. I don't know. That's not a thing. Did you get both uh, Magnetos? No, I need the purple. I need the purple suit one. And I need Goblin Queen, and um, and Did I need to Jean? find Rogue. Yeah, I have Jean. She's okay. She looks great, but the torso, man. I like no? it. No, no good. Mm. It's like it feels like uh, you're messing with a Black Series. <sighs> How dare you? The offense. But she does have like hands and and whatever. You know what? Her articulation is the same as that take Ahsoka. Take it back. No, I won't take it back. It's it's the same articulation as Ahsoka, and you love that Ahsoka though. The way you said it though. <laughs> yeah, I did. I yeah, I did say that. Pretty mean. It should. I, should like, I put the cape back on? Yeah, do it. Yeah, Let's yeah. see this uh, mess. No, no, no. I didn't want it. I don't mean that like as a show for you. No, whatever. Yeah, this Do is it. a show. This is literally a show for me, and I'm and I'm upset. <laughs> Not f- so yeah, this one does lift off a little bit easier, but I don't think it's a big deal. I I bought the the purple suit Magneto because I thought the head sculpts were great. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But that costume is now growing on me. It's it has not. not- grown? It has been growing on me. It has? Oh, yeah. It's the stupidest costume ever. I don't like it. I personally it's, don't like it. Take the sleeves off or like what wh- what is up with those sleeves? And like a big, they're like Asian they're Asian lady gloves. driving gloves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So for people who don't know, like we talked I think we talked about this at the hotel. Like I, I think I asked you, yeah, is it the same with your people? And then I realized like but a lot of a lot of Chinese um a lot of Chinese uh, aunties driving, they they have like the big hat or like a whole visor that covers their face. You get like driving gloves that come up here because the you know it's like it, it's this thing uh, in China. Like if if you're dark, you're like if you're tanned, 
you you're like a laborer yeah. and you work work out <laughs> in in the sun and stuff like that so it's like um you know they want to look um a specific look so they always have those driving gloves so that's what i what i um reminds me of when i see that magneto arm sleeve for his costume and why, why does it disconnect from his shoulders why not just make a whole bodysuit yeah dude he's got he's got to have some weird tan lines. He's got it right there yeah looks like he's gonna be all striped much you need a soft goods cape for that i know like this I know. guy I have this one for the wired. other Magneto. Mario, you need this. This is wired. <laughs> I, I'm i aware. Machu's going to pull some strings. They, they've actually been showing up in like in my area now, I think. Really? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Um, Asian lady driving gloves just need a big face sun visor. to. Yeah, it's it's the... um. I think they, they were ready for COVID. Because they already have those big, <laughs> big giant sheet uh, covers for when they're driving, mm. like they're ready to go. I mean, if it was between this costume or the other purple costume that they had, oh, the pajama costume, the pajama one. Would you prefer the pajama one? No, I prefer the this stupid one. one over the pajamas. Yeah. Pajamas is just weird. But I, I really do like the his classic red <laughs> costume. Darth Gutierrez says he's busting an Allen Iverson. Are these basketball <laughs> shooting sleeves? Yeah. <laughs> Get a sweatband too. And an no, one. dude, pair him up with uh, your LeBron over there. I don't have him. You have LeBron. I don't have purple Magneto. Oh. Well, when there's, you get him. There's two figures in that sentence. You know what's funny? I thought you were holding him up right now, but it was Machu. <laughs> I do have a LeBron. He's under you right now. I'm like, I'm all confused and this shit. This isn't between two sentinels. I don't have the technology. To... <laughs> there you go. Matt. Here, Matt, you can. <laughs> yeah. No? Can't hand it off? Oh, oh, wait. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Ball up. Wait. Check. I'm going to check the ball to you and you look away. There you go. I, I look know. away? Was that necessary? What happened? DK kicked everyone out. Why? That was rude. So we can we can play one on one. Everybody oh. get up! It's time to slam now. We got the. <laughs> All right, bring everybody back in. Uh, Wrong Space Jam song. Dude, the red red Magneto with the red helmet is uh, f you, you can't change that. What's the pajama look? It's it's literally just like a big purple pajama. DK, do you have it? Pajama? No, I don't have any magnetos. No, Google you know, it. Google it. Oh god darn it. They didn't they never made that figure, dude. <laughs> That'd be weird if he had that figure. Yeah, I got it. He's just bullshitting. Rather than Google it. <laughs> uh. Is this the uh the drain? Oh, you want me to open the net first? Yeah. Fine. Three bucks, huh? Insane, right? That's no, crazy. I think the figures were five and the net was three ninety nine. Free ninety nine? Free dollar ninety nine cent. Dude, I remember I paid I don't even know, but I paid a ton of money for the I think it was the McFarlane. Yeah. Room. And it's big. It's huge, way too big. Not yeah. one twelve scale. What did you search, DK? I'm curious. You're muted. X Men ninety seven Magneto looks. No, this no. It, it's not from X Men ninety seven, dude. What is it from? It's from the it's comics. From the comics. Comics. So yeah. I, literally, I should type in pajamas. Yeah, type in the pajamas. You do that. You'll get rid get of ninety seven X Men ninety seven. Just do pajama <sighs> Magneto. You'll you'll probably get it with that. He search X Men pajamas. Oh <laughs> this is live, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> comic? <laughs> Which one's a comic? 
I Magneto lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Can you guys guide him? I'm, I'm looking on my Google. To no, I'm having that. too much fun with this shit. <laughs> this is pretty good. This is great. Keep going, DK. Chat, can you just give us some topics for DK to Google? No, that's hair. That's Magneto no, I mean, costumes, ahead, right? Magneto, <laughs> dude. Magneto costumes comic, yeah. Comic. What about the the uh, Ian McKellen Magneto? There you go. There it is. There it is. Third one down. This one. Yeah. Oh, oh they, the way they drew it in some. Um, I like this one. No, like it was like it was baggier in some some um, panels. Hold Are we on. done? Or oh, okay. no, no, I'm just trying to open it up right there. <laughs> Magneto thongs. Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, search that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Ooh, that dress so scandalous. <laughs> Magneto no secret. No mutant can handle this. <laughs> Yo, Rick. <laughs> The new hot men's lingerie store. You can find <laughs> such classics as the bro, formerly the man's ear. <laughs> I like this look. He's he's not he's not showing the helmet. He's rocking the the hair, showing it off. Show ha short hair as well. Show hair. Oh. I corrected myself. Oh, Tani. The deep V. Is it a V? Would it be weird if it was just like a a, a rectangular, like a a hard line at the bottom? Oh, the collar. I don't. I, I like this. I think I like this over the Asian driving gloves. It's the, yes, Kuya kicks. I I knew th there was something about it that looked like Quicksilver. I couldn't. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was, but you're right. It's the hair. All right, come on, come on. Great. Now I'm singing Magneto thong song in my head. <laughs> also, chat, I'm, I'm serious. We need some stuff for DK to Google. This is some pretty crazy elaborate packaging. So this was holding the net down mm. here. And then there's tabs that secure this in place. How much was that? Like retail? 25 No, if the right. figures were... $35? There's no way this was $25. Wait, yeah, do you I think it was $25? I think, I think it was it around $30 something. Yeah. How's the starting lineup? Oh, there is a basketball on an effect piece. Oh, do you put this on his hand to shoot? Dude, like yeah. I think this clips into the wrist. That's cool. Damn, I need uh, this. a flight stand of some sort. We need better flight stands, Mario. Yep. On Hasbro shop, it's 20, 25 US right now. I wonder if that's an adjusted price, though. I don't know because there was no NFT with the hoop. Oh, so that it brought it was a lower price to begin with? Yeah. Yeah, and there's no logos on the hoop either except for the nba logo if you guys find one at ollie's please help me get one guys please help out dk okay you guys all you guys do is make fun of him and laugh and make hey, reels you make fun him. of him too Shut up. i'm trying to help him get <laughs> a net not you Such hey a... i want a net too oh so that's why you're being a cock block or a net block got, Yo! got dude this is so cool oh that's that an effect nice. of the ball going through the net zooming Zooming, but swish. Zooming. <laughs> Guys, don't make fun of him. Get him a net, please. This is so cool. I did not expect this. Was this on the illustrated on the packaging? I guess it was. But you can't you can't tell like until you have it in hand how cool this effect is. That is awesome. So you can swap it out here and put it. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Take that. Mario, when you play ball, man, 
buckets all day. Mm-hmm. All net, baby. All buckets all day. I think this goes. This is going to be interesting to put together. There's a lot of pieces. I don't need that. How many pieces? <laughs> Four? Guys, we got a lot to work through tonight. Should have made it an enabler stream. Should have. Oh, Yoko's going to be pissed when she hears that. She's probably over at Toy Migos. I'm right. going to save some of my unboxing up. For enablers? Yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't unbox anymore. I'm like running out of space on my desk. Yeah, me too. How does this stand? What are you gonna do with this, Kev? Wife photography? I don't know. The hell does this go? Are there instructions? I threw them away because I didn't need them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yoko's back. Wait, she's also on Toy Migos. She's are you dual dual streaming? Are you, dual you, monitor? Are you watching right now? I got everyone stream up. Wait, yeah, aren't you dual watching that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're so stupid. I'm like, why is he so quiet? Oh, he's watching another stream. Wait. Come on, you got this. Come on, yeah. You play basketball in real life. You should know how this works. <laughs> I, I play basketball. I don't have to put the court together. Oh, no? <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Okay, there's that. Oh, she never left. Oh. <laughs> I got it. Oh, this is tall, dude. Look at this. Yeah, that is tall. That's accurate, dude. Even the the uh, the basketball, the lines on the ground, accurate. No, there's no way this is this close. That's a three, dude. The first line that's is a three. three. Point that's, not, that's, that's out of what? bounds. That's out of bounds. No, you have to connect another rim on the other side, and that's full court, right there. Use the flight stand. Let's see it. Let's see him in the air. Okay, so it's it's really cool because. You can, there's a uh, hundred holes on here on the ground, just like a real basketball court. So you can, <laughs> yeah, put this stand. <laughs> Which side? I think it's the wrong way. It seems a little too complicated. <laughs> Wish there was like a easier Dude. flight stand. No, this is good. <laughs> this ratchets. No. Or no, the connection points the same as the Marvel Legends one for the Black Widow, that deluxe stand. I don't know. I, oh, I just realized there's there's two nets. <laughs> there's two balls. <laughs> or there's two balls. This this is uh. I'm, you this just realized that now. I'm telling a story. <laughs> oh, it's still motion. <laughs> G Marcus says, I chatted earlier, but those sliding, sliding, starting lineup figures are kit bashing gold. Their yeah. heads, hands, also swappability, adding jerseys and shoes to Spidey and Deadpool. Oh, oh no way. That's such a good idea. Should just put shoes on Spidey figs. And already... Yeah, because these are like actual shoes with logos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay, now I need some of these figures. All right. Everyone that's helping out, DK, help me out too. Please look at the ankles too. Look at LeBron. Ah, oh, somebody oh, walked by me. Foul <laughs> and one. Oh, ref, why didn't I get that call? Uh. Why? Why does he flop so much? Because he, if you're the best in the world, you have to flop. Apparently, do you think he's doing it like as a joke? Like he's like, oh, no, it's it's part of the game, right? Like ref, you trying to swing calls your way, but I just. I don't think it's cool. He's a really bad actor, though. Yeah, people buy it. The refs. Do they? The refs buy it. That's what I'm saying. Because oh, they're on the take? Yes, the refs buy it. <laughs> oh, good. Now there's three basketballs in this one shot. That's how so good he is, though, right? In real life? 
<laughs> that's a three pointer. That's a this real three pointer right there. This is me at like Dave and Buster's at those basketball games. <laughs> Dude, he's so dynamic right now. Look at him. <laughs> that's a really interesting accessory, though. I like it. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. It's like he's using uh, tele telekinesis to move this basketball. Oh my god, guys! The X Men basketball scene. Yeah, I was trying. To, I was trying to make that. Dude, you the... can recreate that. Use these accessories. You should take a photo, Kev. A toy photo? Yeah. You remember those? Oh, speak to me talk. like I'm a child. <laughs> hey, you remember those? Too loud. <laughs> too loud. Yes, Kevin. Fireworks are too loud. Um, I, we. I just don't have the. NBA, Drive, I don't have motivation. like no figures to make the basketball X Men. Should I just take these and remove and head swap them? Hey, you have topless Wolverine. Because <laughs> these jerseys come off, right? Or do you have to cut them off? Yeah, I think you cut them off, off in the back. No, I don't like that. It's it's like peg in the back, party in the front. Mm hmm. <laughs> Much you still got drink? Yeah, I don't think that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the peg, the neck is like too thin. Don't, don't. It's yeah, because Wolverine is like you know he's like thick <laughs> and oh shorter. God. It reminds me of another joke that we said. Which with the one? leg, with the leg. <laughs> I forgot how that came up though. Wait, what? It was, it was that kit bash. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because Machu this, had found this. Literally looks like he's shooting a basketball though, like not shooting a basketball. But he's all right. I, I, that was that was stupid. Sorry. I don't like how Spider Man does it. Like flip. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's his mutant powers. He just basketballs. <laughs> Josh Brown. Yeah, because I originally bought. Oh, uh, rehired. Uh, you were never fired. Hi. You didn't join us to say nothing. I came on here to say, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. And especially. How is all y'all of you? Right oh, here. yeah. You already wasted all your FUs. Yeah. If Ryan was okay. here, would you be like, you're cool? Yeah, that's probably, I couldn't say that to him. Okay, bye, guys. Is that it, really? <laughs> <laughs> nice cameo. Mm -hmm. Disgruntled Yoko has entered the chat, says Rick Dom. Are you disgruntled or are you just gruntled? Regruntled. Regruntled? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Even yeah. at DK? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did I what do? What do you mean even? He's so innocent. I just had deja vu. This is crazy. Well, what did <laughs> I do? <laughs> he barely knows what's going on when he needs to. Oh, the chat. So I'm not him. allowed to be gruntled at him because he doesn't know what he did. Mm, I just feel like uh, he might get a pass. Mm -mm. No passes here. No passes. No. For DK. Guilty by association. <laughs> he does have a guilty face. Look at him. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. That's never going to fly in court. Oh, your honor. I have That's no idea. But, yeah, yeah, guilty by association, apparently. Do you have something to unbox, Joko? <laughs> I was just going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing because you don't think I have anything to unbox? No, I'm... What? No. You get offended at like the craziest stuff, by the way. <laughs> do you have or do you have stuff? Because I know you haven't buy, been buying much lately, but do you have stuff to open or are you saving for I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, enablers? I, mean, I just want to prove that I had stuff to open. Shoot, I left one downstairs, but I got Proof two more of the Ghibli sets after last after last week. The ones where the you ones didn't that I buy didn't buy in Japan, Japan that I could have bought in Japan. Yes. Oh my god! Because America is <laughs> yes. number one. 
And I have more stuff that I could have bought in Japan in my cart right now, too. Has that has that taken a toll on you? Have you been regretting it? This, yeah, well, that's the problem with like going back through the footage, right? Because I'm like, oh, this stuff I should have bought that mm -hmm. I just filmed instead. You ever had these jelly beans? I have had those. Yeah, there's really. I knew it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll gave it away. They're they're not Irish. <laughs> Yoko, can you read the fruits that are on that box? Well, you, can you read kanji? Is it in kanji? No. It can is you make in... it bigger? <laughs> What's regular? I can't. Yeah, I, I'll read it. It's potato, 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 potato. Uh, raspberry, lemon. Apple. <laughs> grape. What is the? Uh, uh, purple is grape. I think this is a green lingo, apple. Lingo, something lingo. Maybe it says midori lingo. Green apple. Lingo. So they don't have oranges in your country. No oranges. Uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> You've been away too long. It was true. What's with the oranges? It is true. What's apple yeah. in, in, in Japanese? What? No, what? No, sorry. What's orange in Japanese? Orange. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's apple? Apple, lingo, lingo. There's, there's like the. What, what's it called when it's like the English word but made with Japanese characters? Katakana. Okay. That's what that's what those fruit names were written in just now. But there is a Japanese word for apple. Is it? Do they have raspberries? Yes. There's no raspberries grown in Japan. I don't think so. I've only heard raspberry. <laughs> Do they have durian in Japan? Yeah. Do you guys have durian? Do you guys have durian? Do you people yeah. have durian? Do your people have durian? I'm trying to figure out my room looks cute. I didn't have my lights on. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Have you had durian? I've had it, but when I oh, she's from a Hong Kong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? So, no. <laughs> Because it, it's supposed to meet be like it smells awful, but it's it hard to tastes, get past the smell. Yeah, tastes good, so it's supposed to. <laughs> but if, if you've had it and you still don't, you still don't think it's good. Yeah, Dude, Rick's got a question. Rick, don't. <laughs> hey, Yoko, you're Japan, <laughs> the nation. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> do you have it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you aren't you glad you joined us? Yeah. Always. Are you saving still, your hall then for uh, enablers? I still feel like I was fired. Well, I only have the two things that I may I or may not you, open. We don't fire anybody. Who's been fired? I I I was I was um what do they call it? Quiet. You wouldn't you wouldn't be the quiet first. Fired. Yeah. No, you weren't. You were in quiet, quiet fired. Because people like quiet quit, right? Isn't that a, isn't that a term? That was like quiet fired. Oh, we got some quiet quitters. <laughs> Yoko, what you should have done is like, you can't fire me. I quit. That's the line. No, yeah, I, but she. I don't think Yoko is that kind of person. Well, maybe I don't think she would do that what? to us. Would you? Quit? I think yeah. I quit once. <laughs> I think you pulled the a Costanza where you like came back on the Monday and was like, oh, that was. I, I tried to quit. You brought Machu on and I was like, fuck that. And I came back. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. replaced Machu you with Machu. Strays, dude. Wow. Machu was right. having fun playing with action figures. <laughs> the most innocent <laughs> thing in the world, minding his own business. He's like, dang, these are great. What are you what are you playing with, Machu? <laughs> I was, playing, I was trying to switch the turtle head, the expressions. The turtle head is just a mm, don't, bad yeah, timing. Wrong, but wrong. yeah, I'm trying to switch the turtle head from one to the other. Uh, and, you know, all of a sudden, Yoko was just like, fuck me. What? I know. I'm sorry. I'm grouchy. I was about to go to bed. You know, it's 930. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't about to go to bed. <laughs> See, caught in your own web of lies. Okay, you can't. You can try to fool me with my own time zone. Come on. 
you everyone I know is streaming right now, and I'm like, I'm bored. What do I, what do, I do? <laughs> between here and uh, uh, Toy Migos? Oh no, that's right. Yeah, I had no I mean, chat. The two you guys were ignoring me in the chat, you know. So like, we were had, not. We were not. I, had to show I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, so if DK would do his job properly and bring up comments, you know, yeah, how DK, this is all your DK's fault. so frightened right now. He doesn't even want to unmute his mic. <laughs> oh, you fool! What you you messed up? I yeah. sometimes DK I don't know whatever... what to bring up half Wait, the time. I'm like, oh no, least... is this, should I highlight this DK... comment? At least DK hasn't hit the um, end stream button prematurely. What the hell happened yesterday? Tell us. Yeah. Dario was trying to leave. Had something in his eye. I don't know. Was on his phone. Instead of just leaving the stream, he hit end stream. He <laughs> prematurely evacuated? Yes. He has the power? <laughs> yeah, because we, we let him have a seat, especially that one week when uh, Ernie and I were both out. Right? So we gave... A big mistake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I take, it, take it away. Yeah. Yep. But watch, like I feel like Ernie's gonna do it now next week by accident. I bet you anything. Yeah, it's a good way to end the stream. Yeah. Hard out. I don't know. We were about to have a pocky off. I feel like there was more to more to uncover there. Pocky yeah, off. Yeah, you know, I didn't even realize you weren't wearing a pocky shirt. I must have sounded like an idiot. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard of pocky? Me? <laughs> no, I would that's what I was pretty much saying to Yoko, and she was literally wearing a pocky shirt. Is Pocky also, from your people? My people? My... <laughs> oh, yeah. Pocky from my people. <laughs> yeah. Dude, all, okay. Have you? I've never seen Almond Crush Pocky. And Chamba was like, that's some basic bitch shit. That, <laughs> that is basic. Yeah. Almond Crush? You mean like How is that chunky... basic? Almond Crunch. Isn't it Crunch? Or Almond it crunch? crunch. Sorry. What did I say? Yeah. Crush? Yeah. I mean, close enough. Kind Camel of. Crunch. Yeah. What? You're still wrong. It's not basic, dude. That's gourmet stuff. That's DK. He's into all the plain food. You like Pocky? I DK? like Pocky, but I, I know they're like that almond crush one. I think that is gourmet. Thank you. You're going to take that DK's word one. over mine and Machu's and Chamba's? Machu's? What did Machu yeah. get in here? I said that. I said it's not. It, that's basic. How's that basic? Chocolate is the basic one. Chocolate man. is the basic one. Chocolate. There. Is the plain all... one. He ordered at a Korean fried chicken restaurant salt and pepper <laughs> with bones. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> with right. bones. I, I'm gonna need some better backup here. Yeah. Sorry, DK. I love you, but <laughs> yeah, you um, bet on the wrong horse there. D Yoko, you we you uh were in Toronto. You we were went just to you were just BBQ. telling everybody to be nice to DK like five <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> no, I'm saying they're being so mean to him, they should get him a net. Don't, wait, don't you have the McFarland net too, don't you? No. No, DK. Oh, yeah, I bought it for you. Yeah, don't you have one too? I gave it away. It's too big. It scales off. Oh, shoot. You're a smart man. What? I I... <laughs> yeah, the McFarland one is, is a bigger scale. <laughs> That's not the part I was questioning. Uh... All right. Anyways, Yoko, you were in Toronto. Yeah, that's what happened with man. You've had KFC, uh, Korean fried chicken uh -huh. at the BB at the restaurant BBQ, and you remember all the amazing, wonderful flavors that uh -huh. they had. I'm still yeah. on this for everything. Oh, you're never gonna live any of these down. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Do you order to vanilla ice cream, DK? Like Heck if you're yeah. at a, I, huh? Heck yeah. No, but I, my favorite ice cream flavor is mango. Oh, that's a good one. Meh. Do, do they have mangoes in Japan? Yes. I had a mango. One of my one of my cool stuff I consumed with a mango drink. I don't know why I thought you were going to say one of my best friends growing up was a mango. Crazy. <laughs> 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 <Crazy. laughs> Took it around with me everywhere, you know? Talk about it. Googly eyes on him. <laughs> <laughs> but like this oh come on man. i hate that i hate that That's what do you mean racist, bro don't huh? you it's hate... so i don't know it's i hate it i hate they i hate like how it. it's looking at me he he it makes why? me uncomfortable it his expression yes mm -hmm. 
You talking he's about an ice cream potato cone. head or are you talking about Mario? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> They're one in the same DK. <laughs> no, but I do want to talk about this. Like, you know, I hate to defend Mario, but like, I don't know how the potato title got passed on to him. Okay, go on. <laughs> Two potatoes right here. <laughs> Guys, it's the same color. It's yeah, that's why it's racist. That's a that feels dude. racist when you put it like that. It's Pantone seven nine six. <laughs> when you compare <laughs> seven colors, that feels racist. <laughs> I think Yoko has a, a staunch defender of potatoes. That's why. Yeah, I don't think you're defending Wait. Mario. I think you're defending potatoes. I'm defending potatoes. <laughs> yeah, she's offended for <laughs> potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> How dare I? I don't know if I can say this part. I'm just going to leave it. She's just uh, hey. offend, offended for potatoes everywhere. I want to I know what you're going to say. No, you're full Japanese. It has nothing to do with this. This half of her life, she is. Yeah, you've been Japanese half your life. Yeah, it's true. There he is. Okay, the yeah, D Turtle. There you go. She hates that you're taking shots at potatoes. That's her half Irish side. Yeah. No, I'll own that. I appreciate <laughs> you coming to my defense. I guess. Yeah, you're welcome. I guess. Again, no one's helping me. No. 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 Back to this. Why would they want to make a potato head an ice cream cone? Of all the flavors, ube. Why not make him an entire ube? Wait, what was is, is ube like a root vegetable like potato? I don't know what an ube is actually ube is. A sweet potato? It's a sweet potato. Like, <laughs> so you're wearing a potato hat. <laughs> 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 he was a potato, potato all along. <laughs> it's full circle. <laughs> I hate all of you. I hate. This is... I don't know why that never clicked before. Right now, dude, did we all just did we all just figure that out right now? Miro's yeah. been holding back on us. That's that's what I think. I think he knew, and he's like, I hope no one makes that connection. That's I I think I think you would try to keep that from us. I feel I feel bad one day, like if you're choking on food or something, and like you turn purple, like we're not gonna rush to your rescue. Be like, yo, guys, ube. And then we're just gonna... <laughs> you guys do have a history. You guys do have a history of not rushing to help people who are choking. <laughs> That's why Wait. this fits. This is on brand. Chamba. Chamba. <laughs> now you have to draw Mario as an ube. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> How is Chamba multitasking? That's pretty Yeah, what? <laughs> How? Check the other stream. What's happening? Oh, my God. He's on stream. I think he, I think he has a bot that searches for the word ube when it's mentioned. <laughs> And then he gets an alert. Also, remember, a Chamba is multiple, man. So it's he true. is everywhere. Chambot. Yep. No, oh, Chamba probably got a notification. It's like someone took off my hat, <laughs> or he <laughs> made more sales. Like, Who the fuck? He made more sales. They're like, oh my god, potato hat for Mario. I can't I'm believe you have it. God damn it. Yeah, that shit on your forehead for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. DK, DK. I Google yeah, Google an image of an ube, please. Oh, let's lean into this one. Uh, can you share screen first? Actually, no, I don't want to see your search. Uh, yeah. search uh, no, I do. That'd be great. Let's, let's see that. It's going to be like what? pubes what? by accident or something. Pubes by... Uh, hey, man. Yeah, what did I say got, in Toronto? It's got three of the letters in there. It's time to make mashed potatoes great again. Let's go. <laughs> no, make baked potatoes great again. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's see it. <laughs> oh my god dude, dude it's the same color as the lights behind you <laughs> <laughs> you've got oh ube god. lighting you did it in your subconscious you didn't even know you're like you have potato lighting and potato camera dude i don't have a potato camera that's offensive i'm ordering ube eats says john carmen <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What is happening? Did we just get unhinged? Holy shit. So the skin is purple too, or is that like a specific yeah. type of We're hinged? 
or that other one is just unwashed i don't know i do have ube lights fuck erwin <laughs> erwin papa is excited for ube he's changing it on his phone right now <laughs> give me sweet potato orange also what was your name from the the ladies at the hotel <laughs> Mar Marbin. 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 For whatever reason, uh all of the stuff changing your lights, just just own it. Grape? No. Grape. Mm -hmm. Grape. Grape. For whatever reason, uh your hotel, everyone at the front desk was uh my people. Your people. And and they did that that housekeeping lady know you or she just assumed your name did she how, think how she, she was somebody you? that she sorry did she think she was some you were somebody that she knew no i just think she thought my name was marvin i don't know why that's really funny i i don't know why they call me marvin <laughs> i don't know <laughs> why they not marvin 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 do you want housekeeping Uh, Richard Reyes. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for coming out to uh, ToyCon. You guys making this Filipino crave ube more than I should. I th I don't know if I have ube Malona bars upstairs. I think I need one. Dude, I had some um, ube cookies at Christmas. Bro, so damn good. Oh, dude. Kuya Kicks got me those um, ube cupcakes. What? When? Uh, for the ToyCon. He got them for my birthday. They were so good, and they know. had ube um, icing inside the cupcake. So Did you get too much? And inside. Okay. He got them for my birthday. You guys got cake for Mario's birthday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But it, it was it was just vanilla cake, yellow cake. Isn't that just vanilla? Yeah. But yeah, they're they're so good, and I uh, I think they're, um, I think he said it was a Filipino bakery in Mississauga. So out in his his, his end, it's like half an hour west. So he brought him over him and uh, from him and and Drew, um, Drew Olive, Drew Olive is also Filipino. Why is Matthew laughing? What's the joke? Dude, Matthew asked yesterday if. <laughs> oh wait, no. We were the honorary we, Filipino because we he's always like, kicks. He's like, hey, is uh is Drew also Filipino? I'm like, what? I mean, sometimes you can't tell when somebody's like a little bit Filipino. Did you just Ernie him? Because he Did messed up Yoko's him? messed up Yoko's uh background <laughs> completely, like way off. Well, he was half off. You know <laughs> Way off is dramatic. Half off. Yo, Kuya Kicks was recommending a, a, like a ton of Filipino spots to go check out, but we obviously did not go to any of them. But there's a lot. There are a lot. Yeah. Of you guys. We got to go. We got to go. We gotta, oh, so I don't know. Did, did we plan too much stuff to do or were you just not there long enough? Because I feel like there's more we wanted to... Like, there was a day where we just kind of loafed it and did nothing, really. What, Which day was, was that? that? No. Yeah, Friday. Friday. Friday, we went out to eat for your birthday. Yeah, but during the day, we just... shopping. We were shopping around. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah, I guess so. I, I think much. four days is good. I probably could have extended maybe one more day, but that's pushing it. That's... Maybe one more day. Five days next time. Six nights, five days. Wait. Five <laughs> nights, six days. Fuck, I don't know. You can do six <laughs> nights, five days, can't you? No, wait. <laughs> I can't do that. It makes sense. Yeah, uh, you just get in at nighttime. I think, I think you need to come back. There's so much more food to eat. Or uh, we start planning the next Toying Around Toy Con and start playing out the restaurants then what, what about fan expo is that not worth going to anymore i mean yeah you well, look at dk's face dk you tell him is it worth going it's, 
I think everything's really expensive there. <laughs> and so mm. overcrowded. It really was crowded last time. All right. So... It sounds like how I feel about New York Comic Con. Right. Basically. New York Comic Con was crowded from what I remember. I thought New York was good. Mm. <laughs> maybe because I, maybe I, because I went to I San went... Diego for the first time. Yeah. I went right more because you were there and Yoko was there. It's just like going outside of that. Like there's nothing outside of the con. Right? There was nothing happening outside of the con. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask uh, you know, you three, because you were there, Yoko, you do a lot of conventions, and anyone in the chat, what makes a good toy convention? Not necessarily a Comic Con all encompassing type, but like a toy show. Like, what do you like when you go to a toy show? Is it is it like mm -hmm. vendors? <coughs> is it like the the presence of like um toy manufacturers or like an established company and i'm not knocking like independents who who make their own stuff right but also have like the big names and a mix of of um independent creators like what makes a good toy show for you that's 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 hard to that's hard to answer easily right because i feel like it's a little bit of apples and oranges with like conventions or toy shows because mm -hmm. the big like there's the different like like nothing touches San Diego, right? And then there's right. the other big cons that are kind of starting to feel like I I secretly call them copy and paste cons because they all kind of start to feel the same after a while. Mm. Um, but you it's know, not that's, some sort of uh, computer convention where they no, not a computer convention, right. um, not a spreadsheet convention, but like it's but I think for people like who do go to multiple cons a year, like it's probably nice. Like if you're, if you only go to New York comic con, that, that's probably a great show to go to. Right. If you only go to Emerald yeah. city, that's going to be a great one. But if you're going to multiple shows a year, they start to feel the same. Like for me going to all those shows, it feels sometimes I forget where I am, honestly, like in the middle of the show floor, you know, it's like, what, what okay. city am I in? Especially before when I was doing a lot more shows than I am now. Um, Cause I used to be at, at a show every, every month. Um, but like, I like these days, I like the smaller local shows better um because mm. because it's less chaotic mm -hmm. um you know prices prices are better generally um and i think for me i don't know maybe it's probably getting old too but like not having to um, i mean except for i'm 25 but um just being able to more easily navigate and see things and talk to people is better than just have it jam packed because like a lot of those cons are selling the same things too like they're all mm -hmm. they're all right. selling pops right they're all selling funko yeah you can only look yeah. at that for so much. I read back in my day, <laughs> there were not, there was not pops everywhere, you know. Hmm. Yeah the um, the crowds at Fan Expo was a little too much. It was just, and it really was just seeing a bunch of the same shit. I, dude, if if the homies weren't there, I think I'd be. It definitely would be a one day thing for me. I wouldn't do like a four day pass. And I'd be in and out. I'd see like, you know, like, for example, like if it was SDCC, Jada booth, you know, I hit up the booths. I'm good with one day trying to get some exclusives and then I'm out. For me, it's just hanging out with friends like I because mm. otherwise it's just kind of a hassle, especially like, with big so crowds. you get the exclusives and like the brands that, you know, kind of deal mm -hmm. like you're not you're not going out to hunt for well, sellers I, or, I, you know, independent vendors that you know re or resellers and i don't yeah, mean resellers I mean, like the bad connotation of you know people flipping stuff just any yeah. reseller. so at uh at decon it was kind of cool to see some of like the independents over there like um shit yoga what was that uh the little uh the little statues or whatever like the, the pandas and like the pop mart or the pop, yeah it was pop that was cool and like what are those called I forget. like designer vinyl designer toys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, it's like, all right, I don't need to spend four days at that thing, you know. Yeah, it's cool to see, you know, some new shit. But yeah, open that. Um, but I don't know. I, again, it's it's mainly just hanging out with friends and shit. Mm, yeah, I mean, hanging out with friends. I think if there's so like what I liked about Decon was also they had the the, the food trucks right outside. So like right. we like we were technically there for work, but like when we wanted to go eat, we can easily grab a bite to eat like right mm. outside. The food trucks were clutch. 
Mm-hmm. I think if a con has food trucks, it, it definitely helps a lot because you don't have to leave the premises yeah, or try to coordinate with a large group of people, you know, that are at different areas of a convention, which is tough. I was trying to get a bubble tea truck out there, mm-hmm. um, but it would have been extra, um, an extra permit, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I don't remember if I told you guys because I, I tried looking into it for the tailgate. And I think DK knows this, but like they're they're like, oh, how many people do you expect to be at this event? Because that's, I think that's how they base uh, how much they prep and what they're going to charge. Um, so obviously, me doing this for the first time, I had no gauge for how many people were going to come out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I already kind of put too much on my plate. <laughs> At the time that I'm like, you know what? I can. I just don't want to overreach, so I'll try to do it next time. Um, yeah, that was a good call. I think. I think bubble tea truck or, or something else would be cool. That would be. Well, DK, what about you? Year to planet. Um, Ooh. I personally like. I definitely love toying around con. It, it was. <laughs> It made you don't me have to kiss his good. ass, DK. You yeah. No, me. I really enjoyed it. Like I was very proud of all of us. Yoko, uh, let the man involved. speak. Um, <laughs> oh. I've honestly, been hearing about it for for like two years now. I'm over it. All right. <laughs> hearing me speak or toying around? No, gone? toying around, toying gone. We got it. It was great. You all had fun. Awesome. I'm so happy. Two years. Proud of you. Yeah. To her, it felt like two years. Yeah. It's two weeks. Really? Oh, is Beast Kingdom Chinese? <laughs> it is. Uh, yes. I didn't know that. How did you guys both know it? Like so matter of fact. <laughs> I just recall me looking up Beast Kingdom stuff and I used then to work in toys? they're Asian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Google. sorry. Yeah. So sorry. DK, you love toying around Toy Con so much. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It, Continue. It made me feel like it was. Well, oh, very similar to it had a similar vibe to say you know the Mississauga cons that we go to, mm-hmm. right? Um, and definitely you know, you know all the homies were there as well. Like there's a lot of people that we we knew, right? So it, it was a really good vibe, and the lights were bright. Mississauga, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like there's not enough lighting. Is this what you look for in a con? Like, I, know, I, I I gotta. <laughs> Like bin dive, I gotta see what I'm diving into, man. Yeah, you know? He's gotta make sure his complexion looks all right. Dumpster dive. You gotta see what you're diving into, but not yeah. which street you're going down. Yes. Yeah, no. Damn, exactly. everyone had a line there to cook go. DK. Like all yeah. four of you. Someone get this man a basketball net. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think um like you know, it was good. No, oh, I got Reginald. Bandai is Japanese. Kotobukiya is Japanese. Jeez. Wow, he, that's that's block really block him for put him on timeout for at least thirty seconds. That's really offensive. I think what he meant was like they're made in China. No, some are made in Vietnam. Yeah, that's true too. Sorry, Reginald. I was trying to help you out. Don't apologize to him for that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there's another tray underneath with all the weapons. Cool. Is is his complexion a little too dark, or no? I'll, I'll, dark. I'll remove myself. It'll look better. This one's way way different, isn't it? It looks it looks off. That doesn't look like Keaton. It looks like Kilmer. That's what I was about to say. That yeah, doesn't look really like does. Kilmer. It's Wrong, Kilmer Batman. Mask. Interesting. <laughs> Beast Kingdom's reference was probably bootleg DVDs. <laughs> Reginald, double down. Good. Good on you. Is this what is this shoulder pad? They're hockey pads. <laughs> what, nice. what is that, Yoko? That's my other Jubilee set that I had left downstairs. <laughs> she just ordered it. Wow! <laughs> I just I just ran the down to get it. Instant delivery. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. So this has a leatherish suit with random pieces of floating over top of it. Look, so it's got like oh a leather stitch suit here, and then like armor plates. 
thigh, Damn. knee. Hey, what's up, J Shot? I think that's what the the shoulder is supposed to be, also. Because he doesn't wear armor like this. It's it's supposed to be seamless. Do they do that to to give you the articulation? Maybe it was supposed to be under the suit and they messed up. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, this thing, though. This thing's cool. Does this move? I'm so that. scared. Oh, yeah. Sick. Nice. It seems like such an impractical piece, of, like to dedicate one section of your belt to this. But Batman's <laughs> obviously always had very impractical, like, pouches. It's like if you have, if you ever find a space where you can have two two spots completely in line with each other, you can zip out of that situation, but only in a downward motion uh, with gravity, <laughs> not up. And also uh, shark repellent. Kev, do you know who uh, Caillou is? Did, did your kids ever watch Caillou? The, the bald kid? Yeah. So yeah, I know um, of it. Jay Shot kept on calling Kuya Kicks Caillou Kicks. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> did you hear that? I heard, last, I heard it last night. Wait, I didn't want to be the one to be like, oh, look, he messed up another name. Did I just sent you something? I did this earlier while I was in a, a meeting. <laughs> I, I texted it to you. I don't. Caillou Kicks. Caillou kick, so good. <laughs> Zoom in on his mustache. <laughs> I thought it was lazy and you just wrote kicks underneath, but the hat and the mustache is uh I felt a little I felt a little wrong doing the mustache. I think that's what makes the show great. Kuya kicks the stash and Ube had go so hard. <laughs> oh, he's man. got a he's got a great mustache. I think you should do do a better one before you send this to him. I know, but like you know, when you're when you're growing up, it always just grows on the side right here. Caillou's a Caillou's a kid, so that's me right now. <laughs> it's... Oh, secret tray. Did we did we ask uh, Caillou Kicks if about DK's comment? Yeah, he didn't even realize. But he, after I told him what um, DK said, he was offended, and he's like, "DK, better apologize." DK, did you apologize? Yes, uh, he did. I Publicly, think he did. I walked up to him. Uh, okay, like I don't know how publicly. Somebody. Well, no, to to him is good. Said in person. Mm, there were other Filipinos. Is this the communicator that he tells the uh, the Batmobile to to stop? I think that's uh, what this is, right? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> stop. <laughs> Ninja stars, Batarang with um, actual metal ring and rope. I don't think this folds though. That would be cool. Did the Mezco one fold? Uh, I don't remember. What is this? It's like a spatula. That's a, doesn't that come out of his um, palm when he palm this? strikes somebody? Really? So, or am I thinking of Batman Returns? His accessories are pretty good. Is this the thing he used to zip up Vicky Vale? No, that thing was that piece was black, I think. Those are from the Dwight Schrute action figure. Oh, I mean, Super Seven's doing reaction office figures, second wave. P 
keep the real. What happened? What did he do? Caillou kicks. It's good. All right, I'm going to check it later. I'm starving. Should we uh, wrap this up soon? Or are we going yeah. full enablers? No, nah, let's wrap that gavel up, B. TK, are we doing what I miss, or should we save it for another day? This is a late night. Save it for another day. Ugh. I want to talk about kaiju number eight, though. We'll do that next week. Yeah, the is it the cheeks are too full? Does that make sense? Yep, that's never a problem. <laughs> <laughs> On the, <laughs> terrible. This is uh, this is an interesting take. On an '89 Batman, I've I seen better. I will add it to my collection. It's a weird scale. Ah. Yeah, I guess that's the only way they can make it, right? If everyone else has the... Uh... Didn't they make a good Joker, though? Jack Nicholson? I think they're the only one that's done a Jack Nicholson Joker mm. that's not one Not sixth. Hot Toys, yeah. Yeah. That's, not a hot that, toy. that's actually licensed. Mm. Oh, that's right. There are third parties. Oh, his shoes look pretty accurate, though. He's wearing the Nikes? Yeah, the Nikes, right? It looks like there's extra, like... Uh, like some of the dimples here on the shoe. It's not just a generic. There's no light Nike logo, obviously. I'm not sure if that's the one that I heard that the armor might peel off over time. I could see that. But then it's been sitting in that. It, did, did that have like a. What is it? The uh, silica gel in the tray, or no? Yep, it does. Okay, it's a solid base. This thing feels solid. Does that help? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, the front of this is wired. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Um, recalling it, we did open. We did open quite a bit of stuff it's funny because i had the off week and i'm like yeah i need a break from streaming and we can just chill and then i was like i have so much i got so many presents i want to open them and i'm like i should do a live stream completely forgetting the reason that i was off that night but i'm uh, i'm glad we got to do this with yoko yeah i was just wondering why i'm here per you usual love you love yeah. batman yeah Who's your favorite Batman, Yoko? Um, mm, I don't know. I act, I honestly, I honestly can't decide between Keaton and, and Bale. Good choices. Who's your favorite James Bond? Um, I don't have a favorite James Bond because I've seen one James Bond movie, maybe two. Golden Eye. I don't even know. Tomorrow never like dies. Pierce. I've seen Tomorrow never dies. I thought she said Mario never dies. Yeah, I heard never. That. I heard Mario never dies. <laughs> Tomorrow never dies. You yeah. have to try harder than that, folks. <laughs> it's All right. it's just a it's just a potato head in a tux. Offensive. Is potato head offensive? A little bit. To me, I'm offended. <laughs> Yoko. Oh wait, I forgot. I forgot. Yoko's offended for different reasons. Anyway, I do you want? Do no. you want a potato head too? No. All right, because I got one for uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> These guys. These guys. I have a Mr. Potato Head in my Toy Story collection. I have a Darth Vader potato head. Mm. Darth Tater. Theater. He knocks a henchman out with it, with his ube hat, like odd job. <laughs> Wicked. Um, you guys have more stuff to open? I'll save no. it. No, man. No, nope, I'm it, gonna it a, I, I did not so much. I did not uh, have uh, bison or dulcim. So you should get those. 
I didn't even have a drink. I mean, not on the stream, but prior. No, I'm I, I'm all out since enablers. I haven't restocked. <laughs> well, you have two weeks. Do you guys know that this is episode 198? Who do you got on 199? Uh, uh, this guy I met in New York, uh, David. He's like a, a toy guy. He's a comic book writer. Um, we're going to open up some some import stuff, talk about some anime next week. And then uh, May 2nd, all the enablers are back here uh for maybe. episode 200 why are you a, are you a maybe or maybe all the enablers both <laughs> what you you're not fired i'm not are we sure I, you were never fired it's, i felt you, fired I, you admitted you were never hired also but she was hired do you think because she she was, i was a diversity hire <laughs> but I we needed it. Oh, stop it, Yoko. You're a fan favorite. Everybody knows it. No. The funniest enabler, right? Well, that's true. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, is that episode... easy to get her back in? <laughs> <laughs> episode 200, are we doing airing of grievances and awards? Or... Are we dressing are we... up? Yeah, are we dressing up? Are we airing grievances at We're each not other? Dressing up. I cannot fit in my suit anymore, so. Sorry, oh, you have to do. You don't have to wear the pants. Just button up the dress shirt down to here. Fit in my we need my to put it. anymore. I'm gonna look like Chris Farley, dude. Just be like, we, need, we need the poet. <laughs> I am winning the poo. Are you trying to rebrand from potato? We need, I was poo? gonna say, do we need a new toy? <laughs> I just bought a whole bunch of these. <laughs> I had a whole warehouse full of this stuff. What am I going to do with it now? I had a whole like rollout plan for <laughs> get some Ube hats. Oh my god, we should. Oh, should we give away, if should we give away some Ube hats? Need, we need potato hats. Yeah, <laughs> can oh my god, potato. Write, write it in Japanese, no one will know. Potato. The hat that says I'm a potato. <laughs> Potato desu, the purple yeah. potato. Potato <laughs> Why does it have to be in Japanese? Yeah, no, Magneto is oh, ube. Not. He's a purple potato. No, no, dude. The, the joke keeps getting better. I don't think it can get any better. After I don't want to be a potato anymore. You can wear a sleeveless sh shirt and get the gloves and wear the ube <laughs> hat. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, DK. That's actually really funny. Yeah. Are we all dressing up as X Men? Actually, oh, that, would really cool. that would What's be really What's that? Cool. I thought you said we're all going to dress up as potatoes. Dress no, up as that would also be cool. Dress up as X-Men? But Jubilee was never an Avenger. I said dress no, up she's as X-Men. No, I get the joke. It's just... <laughs> no, I get it. I just wanted to say it. Shut up. <laughs> Do we have the means to dress up as uh, X-Men? We have two weeks. Yeah, but I've try to get you guys to do stuff and we pick? Um, Wait, who do you want to oh, dress up as? give me a break i i'm in i'll do i'll buy my costume right now who are we dressing all right up well as? then let's let, let's call it out now Wh which x-men are we kev is obviously cyclops dork i don't want to be a cyclops <laughs> <laughs> but i don't want to be a pirate <laughs> who do you want to be dk is morph you don't even have to put the mask on <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> win Wow! Wow! That was good. That was good. I was gonna say Nightcrawler, but yeah, I was gonna say Nightcrawler too. <laughs> no, you'll get canceled. Don't do. Don't. Don't. He's blue, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Kwame Taylor, what's going on? Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat at the four hour mark. My goodness! Oh, he bamfed out of here. <laughs> um, says thanks for the stream butter nation <laughs> hey thank you for being here again hour four that's crazy um but we're we're having fun we're, i think we're trying to end the stream but it's getting more interesting um james hallis says ensconced in magneto velvet <laughs> purple cyclops well, only if it was socially acceptable yeah I, I don't know. Like I think X Men cosplay is is rather extra extravagant, for lack of a better term. 
but it would be fun. So, but if you can't fit into a tux, Mario, what should we? What should we do? Yeah, who do you want to be, Mario? Uh, Is there a potato-based uh, mm -mm. mutants? Mm -mm. Nope. I don't know, Machu. What about you? You want Machu wants to be Cyclops. I don't. Know. Yeah, I have no objection to Cyclops. I'm just trying to think who can Mario be. Machu is. I don't know. Will the you're probably, you're probably Wolverine or Beast with all that hair? Yeah, definitely a Beast type. I was gonna say he could be U Beast. No, that doesn't. No, no. What, Kev? That's not funny. Don't laugh at that. It was. Beast is very clever. I like U Beast. Instead of blue, you're purple. <laughs> To All be right. my enablers. Right. That's that, good. That did it. <laughs> I like that. That completed the picture for me. <laughs> Ooh beast. Speaking of Ooh beast, are you coming back, DK? What's going on? Oh, where did he go? Why oh. is he blue? He blew himself. He blew himself. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> is this Nightcrawler enough for you guys? <laughs> you need a ger I stop. I, I need you to do it a German accent. German. I'm just trying to think of what to say. Drop crop Dustin. People who view the item also views un crops Dustin. What, what are you reading? I'm reading Kix's things. He says crop Dustin. And I'm just reading random stuff. That's, that's that the good. one you picked. That's, that's the one that's I picked. Really that's the one a I two picked. word, a two word comment. <laughs> The first one kind of went like it sounded a little Jamaican. You're like crop Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the, the, I think everything after that, when you weren't reading, was really good. Okay. D Circle says I'm offended. I told I you, DK. I think he's a nightcrawler. <laughs> All right. Well, I think you. I think guys, what do you think? I think he nailed it. I think he should get the part. He, he won right. the role of Nightcrawler. Congratulations. The entire night, I have to speak in a, a, a German accent as well. You, I didn't say it, but now you have to. Yeah. Yes. It's a, gr it's oh, a great idea. God. Now you have to. Don't, yeah. don't say it and then act like it's a burden because you're the one who uttered the words. You had to have known that that would happen, so you're going to. And you're doing the intro. You're doing the roll call. Oh, this is going to be great. Can you? I'm, I'm going to be like Nightcrawler and just disappear. No, like start off with a like the screen without you in the chair, and then a puff of smoke. And he's then gonna he burn his house down, man. Don't, no, don't. So he's gonna accidentally. It's a vape. It's a vape. Mm -hmm. He's laying back in his chair. He blows the smoke, and he just sits up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. All right, we got it. So uh, Ryan's gonna be Gambit. Kyle's gonna be. Kyle is beast. Why? He's got beast vibes. I'll be Cause more because he's, he's gonna. I'm um, actually. Me. Yes. I think I'm um, yeah. actually. This he's one's the know clone. It all. He's a know it all. Machu's hmm. Wolverine. I'm morph. I don't want to be psych. Can I be Professor X? You're not gonna try to get those hard three places, are you? I am, dude. I don't know what ever, anyone said. You were all saying it at the same <laughs> time. He must have he missed that. He, he must have tuned that part out. He called me Wolverine. He said he's going to be Morph. And I was just like, you're going to get those hard to reach places. Oh. You remember the shower scene? <laughs> I remember. I just didn't hear you say it the first time. Um, Johnny Cox said DK is a combination of Cantonese and German accent. <laughs> I don't know. Just as I am Cantonese sure. trying to do a German accent. <laughs> That's literally what he is. I yes, I am in Ontario. Uh, Kyle's gonna show up in the pajama Magneto suit. Yeah, but he's gonna be like, "Oh, were we? Did we have a theme tonight? <laughs> are we dressing up?" Kevin can be rogue. No, I don't, don't ruin rogue for me, please. I don't. <laughs> can you imagine? No, I can't, I'm canceling that Mondo pre-order. <laughs> After that, 
Yoko, who do you want to be? I Sunfire. Don't I don't know. What do you, what? Nothing. <laughs> what? Nothing. You can be anybody. Banshee. Those are all good. You, you have your choice. I don't want to say that you must be Jubilee. I must be That's Jubilee. Why. I can't, but I'm not cutting my hair. You know? No, I'm not cutting my hair if I'm going to be Professor <laughs> Xavier. Are you insane? <laughs> the, this is what, I'm not I, sacrificing I, my my hair present, even though my hair is not done today. But that's not fair because I had to know I wasn't invited. I was fired temporarily. Um, DK looks like a force ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone's gonna tune in. Chamba's like, gonna look. Back I can see through like, you. <laughs> I feel like I can see your collection behind you, like through you. <laughs> I can't. He is a force ghost. <laughs> you stream like this from now on. <laughs> oh my god. I need this lighting for Boba Squadron. This has to be a character, dude. You have to pop in one day oh my and god. do a character. DK. I'm gonna you, I'm gonna set up this elaborate. Force. I'm gonna set up a story where you ate some bad chicken and I'm like you're in the <laughs> hospital. And then like you just show up on the stream. Mm -hmm. like, Wait, uh, can you put like so change your background dk and put the yeah, actual like force that. ghost back there and put like hidden christians <laughs> <With Anakin. laughs> come on put yoda in there and ben and yoda <laughs> do it <laughs> so guys i'm here <laughs> that's so good man <laughs> everyone's like talking and you're like hey guys i'm here the qui gon <laughs> Yo, tell them to use the force. <laughs> this is like, oh, who's that? That's uh, DK. He was formerly a Padawan. We lost him. He took a speeder down the wrong way on a street. And now he's a ghost. <laughs> oh, this this is incredible. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought your lights would With make such complexion. an impression? Yeah. Okay, so um, Kyle is Kyle is I don't know if Kyle's Kyle's be a beast, right? <laughs> I could see Kyle wanting to be a Magneto, beast. don't you think? You think so? I, I think yeah. he seems, he would see himself as oh a Magneto. yeah, one hundred percent. That's what I meant. <laughs> TK never got out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Mario checked, the door. <laughs> Mario checked out the next day and he's DK's been in there since. Oh, John Carver, that's so good. Uh, again, I have to say, I had a I think I chatted, I had a chat with Yoko last. Was it last week? Our chat's the best. Our chat's the best. This combination. Yeah. I know like people here are in other shows and and you know do their trolling stuff there, but this combination, <laughs> top notch. I love it. I love all you guys. Um, it's fantastic i think after 200 episodes cultivated a good following of trolls i guess mm -hmm. a good following of trolls yeah are you still messing with it yes obviously this is fun you know you're getting I mean? washed out Dude, you're, I know. it's too bright it looks like an atom bomb is going off in front of you and you're slowly disintegrating <laughs> what are you typing now it looks like you're hacking panically <laughs> You look like you're fucking traveling through time right now. What's going on? <laughs> you look, yeah, you're cable. You just came back from the future. <laughs> Kevin, I just have to tell you. Like I said, this is too fun. <laughs> this is the most colorful I've seen you. <laughs> Color. <laughs> that, that's the same meaning. I'm not sure what you were correcting there. Nice try. It's not colorful. <laughs> Color. You're full of color. One color. That's still a... <laughs> Here we go. I'm just rooting it for myself. DK, you're, the color on your face matches the color. Ever. You're like a fucking bounce card, man. You're just... Yeah, man. That's why. Can't pull it off <laughs> without my complexion. Can't do a full ghost. Uh, forced ghost. He's really owning oh, this. Yeah, man. Yeah. I really like this. <laughs> 
This is this is the re this is the DK repaint. It's Force Ghost DK. <laughs> He's a Walmart exclusive. It's a variant. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jesus. This is so good. God. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, what the hell we got going on this week? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot I forgot about this because I've been so busy <clears throat> with the Toycon, but I should post this on Instagram tomorrow. Uh, but I did get this break. I talked about this like a month and a half ago. This Mezco, my very last Mezco ever, Snake Eyes. Mm. Yeah, I was supposed to do a giveaway for people on Patreon, but again, uh, the toy show came and went, so now I can do this. I'll, I'll give this away at the end of uh, at the end of May. Anyone who's a Patreon uh, supporter, I'll do a random draw, and you'll get a brand new uh, Mezco Snake Eyes with Timber is his name, isn't it? I gotta do that. Patreon.com slash touring around. Alright, what else we got going on? Kickstarter exclusive DK? Translucent translucent um, unlock yeah it's funny that it's an unlock because you needed to be unlocked from the bathroom it's perfect <laughs> perfect uh, <laughs> dk legacy collection <laughs> <laughs> big response from yoko legacy, legacy kills <laughs> the legacy is good legacy Dude, kills. That was another thing we were uh, on the way back from uh, the show. DK was, Kev's like, DK, are you ready for tomorrow? You're going to meet some fans, you know, you ready to talk to them. And then you're saying like, that's going to be your legacy. And I was like, really quick. I was like, legacy. Yeah. <laughs> and Kev, Kev, damn near. I was crashed. driving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Torrenzi was in here earlier and he put legacy with a J. He did. <laughs> Why did I say it would be DK's legacy? I don't know. I I don't know. Or maybe it was the hate you thing. I mean, it's his legacy. Legacy. <laughs> that was good. I'll give you that. Um, yeah. All right. So oh, we're gonna lose his back. Nice. How, how did can you ask Chamba I mean, how he done? was in here? Oh, Tony Migos down here. Oh, wow. Oh, the numbers are starting back up. All right, boys and girl, opening more stuff. We're just, wait <laughs> we're just waiting it out. No. Um, <laughs> Riding the coattails of uh, Tony Migos. <laughs> Co coattails or coattails? Coattails. Do you know that, Yoko, do you know he doesn't know? I, I heard. And I find that hilarious. Was this from last night? Coattails? No. Oh my god. Um, all right. So what do we got? Let the legacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, legacy. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Um, what's going on? We are planning, we are looking uh around and planning for San Diego Comic Con coming up. Um, so hopefully whoever's out there, we will we will meet you out there and um the gang back together. Uh, in San Diego, um, hoping to obviously, like Mario said, get a lot of great toys out there, uh, plan some content, and obviously hang out with friends. Um, like you mentioned, one of the best parts of the con, the main part of cons. I don't think if you guys weren't going, I wouldn't be like, let's go to San Diego and cover it mm -mm. year after year. Like the fact that I get to to hang with you all um, is is the treat. Um, it is the the like one of the best parts, um, not just you guys, but you know, everyone we know. Um, so that's coming up soon in a few, in a few months, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know, when in Rome, um, buy, buy some toys and we're going to do that. And, um, what the hell else is going on? No tortillas, right? Pancakes. Pancakes. Is that better? Or Pancakes. I don't think would survive the swing. Yeah, if the tortilla here. didn't survive. All right, tortillas, maybe basketball. Can we Definitely. bring the harmonicas this time instead of looking for a target in San Diego? All right, I'll 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 buy it right now. Then, how many right now. harmonicas and rubber? Watch, chicken? I forget to bring them. Yeah, <laughs> we should get the address of the house and just 
Amazon it there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Dude, so and then so we got we got tortillas, pancakes, basketball, and definitely magic the gathering. <laughs> Yoko, uh, why are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> it's the hottest new sport. No, uh, yeah, I know. I I'd, I'd love to watch you guys play Magic the are Gathering. Are you some sort of trading card snob? No. That uh, you know, only Lorcana? Yeah. I ha- I still have to learn how to play Lorcana. Well, she doesn't even know how to play, but she's I laughing know. at You know I'm... what? I think you should join us in the Magic. Okay, I'll quit my job and learn how to play Magic with you guys <laughs> during Comic-Con. The, the limited <laughs> limited is what it's called. I remember. Well, because, you know, otherwise, why would I have time to play during Comic-Con? Oh, yeah. You can quit for that week and then just get yeah. unfired, rehired. Yeah, apparently I'm good at that. We'll just play at your booth. Just, just like it. sit down on the ground. Yeah. Crisscross applesauce. And yeah, play just find, a, the... find a nice empty space on the show floor and learn how to play. We'll empty it. <laughs> All right. Well, we opened a lot of uh, awesome toys. But I, I want to get to more. We'll, we'll get to more toys next week uh, and then episode 200. So please come back May 2nd. We'll come back next week. Come back Monday for Rover Squadron. But definitely be here for 200 where uh, there I'll, I'll look for some giveaway stuff. And um, whatever the hell is that for? Is that for real? I don't we'll, know what we're we'll going to do. <laughs> well, we never. <laughs> that chat is never going to. It's never going to well, happen. The group chat. <laughs> All right, so that's that's going to be in two weeks. Um, what else? We did, Deke and I did uh, What I Missed from last week. Go check it out. A lot of cool um, toys that we like there. DK loves his Transformers, and I get my fix of Transformers new, uh, news there. Can you, do, can, you do the, can you do a transforming sound, DK? That's pretty good. Yoko, do you do, you do a Transformers voice sound? No. You're not going to indulge us, are you? No. All right, He's moving so forward. Good. <laughs> um you know go check out go check out everyone here on their channels i think you all know links are in the video description do we need to go around let's go around um why is everyone making his face except dk oh this guy here you, you do something on tuesdays don't you me yeah yeah you can catch me every first tuesday of the week on chat me goes assemble Go uh, check out Machu Toys YouTube channel. I was just on yesterday along with some of these people. Oh my God, look at this guy yawning. And then catch me every I'm first sorry, Thursday. I'm sorry, that was a real one. Was that real? That was really rude. Every first Thursday of the month on some dorks channel, <laughs> Enabler Edition. Peace. Uh, it's Tuesday. Who else is on Tuesday? Yoko. Oh, um, Tuesday? Yoko McCann? On YouTube, <laughs> um, so I, don't, I don't know. That is funny. <laughs> I oh, wasn't nice. ready. Um, Fall and Fight Chronicles on Wednesdays. I don't think I'll be there. I won't be there next week because I'll be heading down to see Two Two. So if you guys are there, so I'll see you there. <clears throat> Very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, also Wednesday. Also Wednesday, at eight PM Eastern Time. Uh, you can find us at my YouTube channel, Machu Toy, for Between Two Sentinels. I think next week we're going to have Plasti as our guest. So that should be interesting. And then, what does that mean? It's going to be interesting. Tune in. Mm. What, what, is, what is that? What do you mean? What does that mean? I don't know. Because he's like, yeah, it should be interesting. I, I feel like you're, are you expecting some sort of, um, I don't know. Oh, what are you implying? I'm playing he, you know, like a potato off. <laughs> oh, potato battle, potato battle. Uh, so Mario, I'll send you a link too. Nice. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on, morph. <laughs> Hell yeah. Was that was that um, everything? Plastic. I think so. I think that, that they got nothing else going on. I'll I'll be Boy. back at episode two hundred. Yes, you will. All enablers are uh, expected to show. I'm I'm excited. Episode 200. Uh, Wednesday, also, after you watch that, come over to, I guess, Gotham City tonight. I might be there to talk X-Men because X-Men is just too good. Oh, 
Uh, we also talk X Men on Saturday. I'll send you a link if you want to join us. Sa- Saturday is a little bit harder, but okay. um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let mm-hmm. me know. Yeah. DK, I got nothing, but you can catch me every Thursday at 9 p.m. for Unboxing Thursdays and some what I miss. And then the world between worlds. Exactly. DK, uh, the channel has a the channel has a sponsor, Heroes and Villains. Oh no! I, I no. want to mention. <laughs> I want to mention that real quick. Can you tell people if they want to get some great clothes from HeroesVillains.com? Uh, how they can, you know, that's making it too easy. How they can go about uh, getting getting this promotion? They have Marvel. They have some uh, Star Wars um, sandals and slides that they just dropped. Where can we go, TK? You can use code Boba Twenty on HeroesAndVillains.com. Nope. Say it again. Yeah. What? <laughs> Boba Twenty. You can use code Boba Twenty on HeroesAndVillains.com. No, one more time before it scrolls away. You can save 20% off with the code. Where? Keep read, reading it. Save 20% off with the code BOBA20 on heroesandvillains.com. You can nope. use... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You don't have to wait for the whole thing to cycle. It'll... What do you want me to do? Yoko, are you choke? Get your inhaler. Save 20% off with code BOBA20 on heroesvillains.com. There you go. There you go. Because I kept saying the and. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big difference. Gotcha. And (laughs) (laughs) you had to add one more and in there. (laughs) And the code stacks on top of sales. (laughs) It's a big code. (laughs) See you Thursday. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, sponsor for the channel again, uh, Boba, you know, with Boba Squadron, a lot of Star Wars stuff. So, heroes and villains, uh, the brand was like, uh, you know, we were able to, to Yoko was able to help us get a sponsorship. So, if you want to go shop there, 20% off your order, you can use the code once per email account, Boba20, to save 20% off your entire order. Even if there's a sale going on, uh, you can compound that discount. Compound it away at heroesvillains.com. How was that, Yoko? That was good. That was good. I'm sure we just made millions for them. (laughs) (laughs) 30 people still here. Um, there, there is, yeah. Anyway, that adds to the part of DK's legacy. That's how you pass. All right, I'm making sure I don't miss any comments before I leave. Winger Lou says, "What Ernie has to be on his own next Wednesday? He's a big boy. He can run his own channel." <laughs> um, hypothetically, yeah. Ideally, yes. That's that's mm-hmm. the premise. Hey, everybody! Thank you for watching tonight. If you're watching on the replay, if you're still here, uh, if you're coming back from Toy Migos. Uh, this is great um, to open all these toys and hang out with my friends again. Thank you, Ryan, who was here earlier, uh, and you know you guys for hanging out uh, and and opening toys. And um, come back next week for Unboxing Thursdays, opening the hottest new toys out there and unboxing. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for everyone who is a supporter over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash toying around. More videos coming soon. Uh, Ad free with early access for everybody over there. And uh, I'm going to post a picture of the giveaway uh, tomorrow. I'm starving. I need more food. I can't survive on just jelly beans. Thanks for Um, rehiring. Thanks for unfiring yourself. (laughs) Uh, Everyone, have yourselves a great night and keep toying around. Peace. I really like this clip. You, uh, what are you, 25? I'm 40. Holy shit, man. you got to get on that. Life is in. You, uh, what are he, He's the best. Holy shit, man. This is the outro. Silent sipping and mooj. Oh. No singing?